I went from, no, I'm not ready to have a kid, to, okay, we can have a kid as long as you take care of it. Mm. And frankly held up, you know, some small percentage, maybe 10 or 20% of the uh, the child type work and earned a living so that she hasn't had to have a nine to five job since then. And, nice. You know, I've stuck with it. She got what she wanted then. Yeah. Right. So anyway, from the Libertarian Republic, um, these are legal rights that are afforded only to women. And I think that this is much more quantifiable than the list we read last night. And to, for that reason, it speaks to me. You I, say that this list, this list, you said it's seven? Yeah, seven reasons. List? Yeah. I mean, there are other lists out there. And, you know, when I quoted the thing that I quoted from, I wasn't quoting from this article. Yep. I'm quoting from, there's some list that was posted, I think Reddit or something like that. I mean, it's literally reasons that are as good as the one that I said, but like hundreds of items alone. Hundreds of them, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't doubt it at all. And, uh, you know, like... I don't believe that there's anything such as, well, I guess I believe in equality. I just don't believe in fairness. Nothing's always going to be exactly mm -hmm. equal every time. Three plus one and two plus two both equal four. That doesn't mean that they're three and two are the same. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that. So um, I, I get that, but, but I don't see too many instances where there are laws that focus only on women. There are laws that focus on the child that a woman may be carrying, and I can see somebody making making that into a women's issue, but let's not diminish the fact that there are plenty of laws that give advantages to women. Do you now, feel like this article was written as a response to the other seven things? I'm wondering. They both came out on the same date. Huh. So, And um, this everyday feminism is a very popular yeah. One. So maybe the uh, author went to this Reddit list that you saw, grabbed seven right. that, that um, he or she thought were um, a good on the list, pick, slapped some pictures up with it and a little verbiage, and then bam. Read me the first. Is it like a title to the first one? Yeah. If so, let read that and we'll uh, talk about it here in a moment. Women have the right to vote without agreeing to die. Ah. It's referring the to draft. the draft, the selective service. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a, a bit of one. an issue, right? That's, that's like a big one. I, I don't hear – when Hillary Clinton's running around talking about women's issues, I don't hear her saying – and you know what we need? We need every girl in America at the age of 18 yeah. upon the, the pain of not getting, uh, uh, you know, school, school funding or a driver's license it's, to have to sign up a form for the draft. It's bigger than that. They, no one ever says that. I remember the threat was like $500,000 in fines and five years in prison if you didn't sign up for the draft as a 17-year-old. Mm -hmm. 855 450 free Share your thoughts. It's Free Talk Live. Are you completely free of stress and fatigue? Well, of course not. You aren't alone, though. Now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue. Let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me. It's called Youthful Greens. Youthful Greens. It's packed full of nature's nourishing, cleansing, and alkalizing greens, providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving. Youthful Greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body. And right now, when you visit freegreens.net or call 800-333-6923 and order your one-month supply of Youthful Greens for only $20, $29.95, you get another month's supply for free. That's two months of Youthful Greens for the already low price of just $29.95, plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey, you're welcome. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237.
There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We are having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150-plus stations. Email me. Mark Edge at marketfreetalklive.com and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad, we'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30 second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings and you don't want to miss it. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com now. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Stouffer's, helping bring your family together with wholesome dinner options, even on the busiest of nights. Find dinner table ideas to bring your family together at letsfixdinner.com. To get kids involved in dinnertime conversation, ask specific questions, not broad ones. Instead of what happened today at school, try what was the best thing that happened today. The more specific you are, the more they'll have to say. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. We are back with more Free Talk Live. We'll come back with the uh, full seven things that are seven of the multiple, the myriad of privileges that women have over men and very specific legal privileges, not weak crap like, oh, I can stand up and pee, which is one of the ones from the list of male privileges that we read yesterday. Uh, so we'll get into that here in a moment. You can share your thoughts at 855-450 free. Ian Johnson and Mark uh, in the studio. And I'm elated, Mark, that uh, I was wrong that it could have been the expiration date could have been yesterday for the special offer, this limited time deal of doubling the Sherry's Berries for just $5 rather than 10 And I'm happy to say that uh, it's still going on. So we talked about this for the first time uh, during the Mother's Day season yesterday. This is a special offer only available when you uh, type in code FTL over at berries.com. You get delicious chocolate dipped strawberries these strawberries are the best you can't find a bad strawberry in a box of uh sherry's berries. i haven't yet and it's we've gone through some boxes impossible they're dipped in white milk and dark chocolatey goodness topped with chocolate chips nuts and decorative swizzle you can go and get yours for mom over at berries.com with code ftl and you start out at just $19.99. It's a 40% savings. It's actually over a 40% savings on Sherry's Berries at berries.com by using code FTL when you click on the microphone in the top right of the website. So that's the normal offer. And usually you can double the berries for $10 more. Now, today and tomorrow, you can double the berries for $5. So no, that's a good deal. This is like, it was already a great gift now it's a no-brainer and a great gift because it's an awesome product and now it's even more affordable than ever before normally when you get something last minute like this because i mean <laughs> it's thursday when we're talking about this here tonight and mother's day is sunday so normally when you go last minute and order things it tends to cost more uh so you should hurry and get these before you you know before it's too late because you still have to book shipping as well, and you don't want to run out of time on uh, on that. So go to berries.com, B-E-R-R-I-E-S. Use code FTL to get the deals, and don't forget to double the berries for five dollars. You will kick yourself if you do not double the berries. Yeah, this. I was told uh, today. I spoke to the ad agency that uh, places these uh, ad results, Inc., and um, they said we were killing it. 
Hey, that's good. In yeah, a good we're doing way. great. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I really hate sales terminology <laughs> um, because it, it always seems sort of hunter based. And I like to think that I am here to help my clients, but I do speak the language, and the language often has things like that in it. But that well, was, you know, I, I wanted to quote. So yeah, okay. there you go. If you're, it's, if it's hunter based and you're killing it, you're feeding your clients meat. Yeah, there you go. Let's go to Roast James. It over a fire. He's in Dover, <laughs> New Hampshire. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Hey, well, it's a good segue, actually, because I want to say uh, Sherry's Berries is a phenomenal product. Yay. I was able to have some last year, and they were just delightful. Um, and uh, I want to talk about, you know, how, how you guys kill it uh, for your advertisers sometimes and then uh, potentially other times uh, not so much. Um, <laughs> so okay. I was listening to last night's episode, and um, I think I was falsely accused of hand-wringing in the Free Talk Live Amplifiers group. Wait a second. Uh, did he, did Ian it. mention your name? Oh, he didn't, but I was the main person. To okay, I think he was talking about you, but I, I, it would have been, I would have gone after him, uh, I, I would have been killing it if he had uh, mentioned somebody's <laughs> name, because that would have been inappropriate. No, I know. What well, are you I, referencing, I James? Owning, owning my, my position, you know. Um, so basically, um, first of all, I, I think it's a little disingenuous to say it's hand-wringing, but Mark basically asked for feedback, and people say, hey, I don't agree with the stance you took, and they're like, hey, quit hand-wringing, man. You know, that's, that doesn't strike me as hand-wringing necessarily. Um, and I'd like to just clarify, I guess, the, the actual points I was making, because I also felt like those were a little bit uh, misrepresented, possibly. Okay, um, and this is in reference to a stock yeah. company that was, or a stock for a company that was advertised a few years ago here on Free Talk Live, and now said company is in the middle of some sort of a, uh, was it an FEC? What's this group that's suing them? Some sort of governmental... I'd have to look. Uh, ...regulatory group SEC? that is suing this particular company. So they're involved in a lawsuit which has resulted in the stock price tumbling, and there are allegations about this company that and don't look so good. They're Let actually, me, the stock's not even available anymore. So oh, really? tra trading's been suspended, yeah. Let me ask you a question. So during the time that you guys were advertising the stock, right, the stock value was going up, right? Yes, correct. So and this is for the entire time that you were advertising the stock, it went up, right? I mean, uh, I mean, general, uh, you know, I mean generally. Gen uh, yes. And if if general, someone was investing course, during the, the time you were advertising, they, they would have made some money. Yep. Generally, right? Okay. So I don't even it, know what the complaints are specifically. Right. I so I guess my question would be, if you buy, you were talking about Sherry's Berries being a good, uh, good product. If you buy a box of Sherry's Berries and then you forget about them and you leave them out for two months, let's say, right? And you just forget about them. And then they're no longer a good product. Would you say that Ian and Mark are being irresponsible for oh by advertising? Let him those make various? his point. <laughs> well, this, is, this is sort of a definition straw man, right? Because that wasn't my argument at all. Um, okay. <laughs> what I said in the forums was not that it was a bad suggestion to buy FNRG. Um, what I said was that it erodes trust with listeners when you recommend something that you really just have no idea if it's a good product or not. Um, and that's my my impression of what was going on there. Um, someone cold calls you and says, "Hey, will you accept this monetary value for uh, you know in exchange for recommending people invest in our company?" And then you read some articles online. I just don't think that you well, can. I don't think it know, was a straw man because we for, just did establish way, that they did know it was a good product. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, uh, we don't. Did, we didn't know anything. Yeah, we let thought me, it the was. The insinuation is clear for sure. So, um, James, the the one thing I would rebut in the in the stuff that you said is that we had no idea, right? Like we, um, in the sense that I read some articles, um, and I did read some articles, and I, you know, Googled the name and looked for the, you know, did the the normal thing, right. scam, hoax, uh, behind the name, and didn't come up with anything. Right. Uh, so, and I did get to see the products on display and working um, at a convention, and they didn't call me; I called them. So, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, that was the opposite of what was said last night. Is that so? Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't recall anyone saying anything about that. All right. Either way, he's got whatever that. impression he has is his impression is valid for that reason. Um, so those are some things that are sort of, uh, you know, maybe not exactly uh, correct about your impression. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, so let's, let's scrap no idea and say instead um, a, a much, much smaller degree of certainty than you would have with, with any other advertiser I've heard on the show, um, you know, with maybe some exceptions here or there, but. Um, and so I think that's basically what I'm saying is that not that it's unethical necessarily, but mostly that it's just kind of bad business because, like I think so about— So you know, Free Talk Live should stop advertising Bitcoin. And all that stuff too. Sorry? What's Free Talk Live should stop advertising Bitcoin then? Um, well, I think Bitcoin is a little bit different because I think there's they have philosophical beliefs in Bitcoin. I think they are also far more aware of the situation with Bitcoin than the average person uh, that exists. So I think they can speak a little bit more— 
uh, intelligently about Bitcoin and potentially the future of Bitcoin than they can about. That's again, I, th um, I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, the idea that we know a damn thing about the future of Bitcoin. I know Mark's found himself some new Bitcoin guru, and he's been reading <laughs> all those posts, and he thinks this new guru knows what's going to happen to Bitcoin. But I'm sorry, I don't buy it. I don't care how much research you've done. I don't care how many charts you look at, and I don't care if whether we're talking about Bitcoin or we're talking about some stock of, of some company. You don't know jack about what's going to happen tomorrow. You just don't. And that's why I don't buy this claim. And you can hang on and continue the discussion here, James. I, I don't buy the claim that we should be experts before we can talk about a stock or well, Bitcoin or something else like that. I do buy this claim. I asked for feedback and James gave it. Oh, yeah. I'll give him that one. I didn't remember that you had asked for feedback. Um, I was, specifically. And, I, you know, you jumped on in. But on what, what I was saying with hand-wringing was the idea that some people don't like it. Well, so what? Some people don't like all kinds of things, you know, that we say and advertise or do. More coming up. Free Talk Live. Hi, John Hubner from Midas Resources. Are you tired of watching your hard-earned assets dwindle away? As government spending is out of hand and the Federal Reserve is creating in excess of $20 billion a week, are you tired of stockbrokers gambling away your hard-earned money? Is this market a setup for a crash greater than 1987? Too many of today's policies resemble those that led to the collapse of 1929. This is John Hubner, and that was me in 2007. And we all know what happened when the subprime credit bubble burst. By March 2009, the dollar lost 50% of its value. The entire U.S. banking system was on the verge of collapsing. Like all financial problems of the past, is history about to repeat itself? Call me, John Hubner, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 129, before it's too late to protect yourself. Will the oncoming catastrophe take all private IRAs, 401ks with it? There is a way to protect your hard-earned assets. Call me, John Hubner, at 1-800-686-2237. 2237 extension 129. Today's most popular video games take place in dangerous post-apocalyptic landscapes. But are these games enough to prepare our kids for the actual post-apocalyptic future we will all soon face? Well, I think these games are quite effective at teaching our kids skills like finding shotgun ammo and leading elite squads of super soldiers. But these aren't the advanced skills that they're going to need. They're that going to need the more practical skills like how to find drinking water by collecting the morning dew and human yes, skulls. Or, or how to deal with depression when the sun is blocked out for 500 years by a cloud of radioactive Absolutely. dust. Absolutely. Now, that's the type of knowledge these kids are going to need when their world has been turned into a brutal hellscape. But these kids said that they know how to find items to barter at weapon shops and how to use medicine packs to heal zombie bites. The games make it all seem deceptively simple. I mean, in the future, a kid's not going to be able to kill a six-foot-long irradiated beetle just by pressing a few Absolutely. buttons, and he's well, going to have to get down there with an axe and hack and hack but and hack. This is the Onion News Network. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll free on the radio. 855-450 free is the number. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. And you want to hook yourself up with some Bitcoin or maybe one of the altcoins like Litecoin or Dogecoin, you can go to expresscoin.com. It's the best choice for getting cryptocurrency. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. And they're a licensed money services bit, uh, business. You can get your cryptocurrencies with money order or check by starting at expresscoin.com. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, it's expresscoin.com. Coupon code FTL will actually get you up to $40 worth of your cryptocurrency with no fee at all. So don't forget, coupon code FTL, like Free Talk Live. When you're over at expresscoin.com, you can also grab their uh, smartphone app and get started at expresscoin.com, coupon code FTL. We're on with James in Dover. James, you know, you essentially feel like and my understanding of what you've said, and we've had a, we've sort of had this same discussion, but on the Free Talk Live Amplifier forum. So uh, for our listeners that are not on that forum, this is probably sounds like a fresh discussion. But for those who are there, you've already observed many of these points being made. Um, I think it's an interesting discussion, and I'm glad that we're. I, I think it's good, and glad I'm glad we're having it. Um, and I think it's yet another example of how Free Talk Live is a very different program. And let me tell you. It can be hard to have an open phones show when you have advertisers, especially if somebody has had a bad time with an advertiser, you know, maybe a bad customer service call or something didn't work the way they had expected it to or didn't arrive on time or whatever. And then, you know, rather than kind of handling it through the official channels, uh, they pick up the phone and call and complain about it on the air. Because, you know, we're not like, for instance, with Pro XPN, we are not the technical support department. So there's very little that we can do if somebody calls and says, hey, I didn't have I wasn't able to get the software working or something like that, mm. which hasn't happened. I'm just giving you a speculative example. And then we're, you know, our response is, well, you know, our uh, but every time we've talked about Pro XPN, they've been very helpful, and every customer that has contacted them has felt satisfied. And so, you know, we do our best to sort of facilitate having the customer get in touch with the business. Um, but there's very little we can do. But nonetheless, we don't screen those calls out. And so, when we found out about this issue with this company that uh, we'd offered stock for, or we'd suggested or promoted the stock for previously on Free Talk Live. Uh, that you know, here we are talking about it rather than brushing it under the rug and trying to pretend like it didn't happen or something like that. So I think I think there's a valuable discussion uh, talking about why some people look at certain products as questionable or as uh, reputation damaging. And you were explaining to us a moment ago why you feel like Bitcoin, which is also a risky investment, uh, is somehow not as it doesn't look as bad to you when we talk about Bitcoin or, or purchasing Bitcoin. Um, even though, point, point of clarification, many of the times we're talking about Bitcoin, we don't include the same disclaimer that we included, or even a, a disclaimer at all, that we included with this stock. So when we were talking about, uh, hey, you know, you should look at the stock to purchase, we also always pointed out stocks are risky. You know, you might lose your investment, that kind of thing, on a fairly regular basis, if not every single time uh, that we talked about this stock. Bitcoin, we're not as cautious uh, about pointing those things out. I mean, should we be more cautious about that, James, or do you feel like for some reason that, you know, it's different? Okay, there's a lot to unpack there, but um, but and first, I just want to recant. I, I'm not sure. I may have misrepresented you guys saying that they called you or whatever. I, I just want to throw that out there. Okay. I, I may have been wrong about that. But um, next, when it comes to the the Bitcoin discussion, I guess I guess I'm gonna you know kind of qualify it this way. So I have purchased a number of things from FTL advertisers, probably more than a dozen. Right. Well, and Thank you're you. also and, and you work for uh, Free Talk happy. Live to some extent too. Yeah, full disclosure. And you, this sure. is how yeah, we I mean, I really, apparently I'm, parse I'm, out uh, really disagreements in, in our well. company. Go ahead. <laughs> On the air. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and so you guys know, like I'm I'm about as big a fanboy as one can get, right? But right. the when when it comes to this particular idea, I guess it's 
you know, so so I didn't buy FNRG, right? But um, this, you know, knowing that people would advertise something that they have very limited information about that has um, extreme financial risk for people, and, and I think it's also a little bit silly to compare the risk of FNRG stock purchase to, like, using ProXPN, like you did last night, too. Um, but, you know, comparing those two things, it's like, so I picture my best friends in my life, right? Um, these people can come to me, and if they say, hey, you know what mechanic you should go to? Such and such a thing. I'm just going to trust them implicitly. Like, I won't even Google it. I, I won't do any of those things. And for you guys, you know, as friends, I, you have that trust level with me, right? Um, and I think that's a really valuable thing. And I wouldn't from a business perspective, think it's advisable to erode the trust of people who really trust you a lot by recommending things that you don't know very much about. That, and, that was my major point. Right. So, I found your your conversation, your your uh, what you wrote, to be convincing to the point that I'm prepared to change the way that I do some things. Um, so I will talk about things that I believe and put them in the first person. Um, you know, like if I did believe that FNRG was going to go up in value, and it did, it was complete. It was up in value until, it, you know, the the basically the last the last week or two of the uh, of the stock's existence. Are you so, saying you didn't say you believed certain things about it previously? How would that change what you did previously? Because my understanding of what you did previously was saying, hey, this is the research I did. This is why I'm you know invested in this company. I'm, I don't know and what I said previously. Here's how you can go and. Do the same thing. I don't know what I said previously, but I'm going to make sure that I use the first okay. person when I talk about things, and um, and also like just but let people understand that, right? You know, like you know, everybody everybody makes mistakes uh, this way or that way. I'm not even entirely sure that I consider this to be a mistake because I sold right and I made money and I had sort well, of talked James about a limited would be time would period be the stuff. Well, hold on. What James is saying is the mistake is promoting it at all because it uh, it hurts our reputation in. His his mind. Now, how many of the listeners out there agree with this? Some. I do. Well, right. Some are going to agree with that. But some are also going to look at us promoting some sort of health product as questionable. Oh, God, they hate it when we promote um, health products. They're going to look at, you know, and, and I feel I share some of the concerns, and I totally understand where you're coming from, James. But to me, what it sounds like, and the reason I use the term hand-wringing before, and I touched on this, is like with my activism that I've done, I've done all kinds of different styles of activism. And if I talk to somebody, I, you know, somebody who's familiar with a lot of it, I can usually find something that they didn't like. Now, if I'm recalling correctly, James, and please correct me if I'm wrong, one of the things you didn't like was the chalking, correct? Uh, not the chalking, but the, the terminology of the war on chalking and the, you know, the whole idea of a war on chalking seemed very silly to me. Ah, okay. I didn't realize there was that uh, bit of specificity there. But anyway, uh, th my point being that, you know, there was something about in this case, the way I was promoting the chalking that was going on here in the year uh, last year here in Keene, there was what I called the war on chalk, where certain people were coming downtown and using brooms and uh, using buckets of water to remove beautiful chalkings that were being done. Uh, in, in some cases, throwing that water on the activists. Yeah, there was that, too. And so, yeah, the war on chalk was a way to uh, make it silly and, and dra dramatize it and have fun with it. But you didn't like that approach. And uh, I can talk to all kinds of people. And, you know, somebody didn't like the 420s. Somebody else didn't like uh, the chalking. Somebody else didn't like the topless Tuesdays. Uh, so, like, everybody has something that they can find that I've done that they don't like. So, of course, once again, here we are in this situation. If some people don't like how we sound when we're talking about and some advertising. Now it's advertising, we. I, I thought we were really just talking about you and taking criticism at this point. Huh? Yeah, and, and frankly, too, like I, I think it's a little bit, you know, just to, to hand wave away any concern that's hand wringing is the thing I have a problem with, right? Because <laughs> in this instance, I'm not wringing my hands about anything. I'm not saying you're destroying anything or like doing any. You did say you're we're destroying our like reputation. Right now, offering counsel when it, it sounds like right now that you're hand wringing about you know, hand wringing. It's a wise thing to do or not. And my, <laughs> my position is that no, it's not a wise thing to promote things. That, well, you did say we're um, destroying we our reputation. Right, you're saying that by doing this, we're destroying our reputation and making it less likely that people are going to uh, trust what it is that we say. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if you can convince Mark to not accept stock bu uh, buys in the future, that's not going to happen. No, I'm fine with it. Like to me, I'd rather not have stocks. And uh, to me, this was a hassle to have to convert this stock into uh, cash. And I mean, I would rather just say no to it. But at the same time, I can understand why Mark would say yes, and he hasn't necessarily taken this off the table so ultimately james you know you haven't convinced him uh on this he's not just going to change how he approaches it not yet well i, I like actually you know there was something chris said last night when you guys were kind of 
you know, in my mind, sort of misrepresenting how the stock was being promoted, um, which is that, you know, simply saying, here's an investment I can make you aware of, um, and you can look into it on your own time. That feels like a sort of like a dispassionate and honest way um, to promote it. But, you know, on the flip side, and I get that advertisers aren't going to call you up to pay to do that. Stand by, um, James. 855-450 free. It's Free Talk Live. There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We are having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150-plus stations. Email me. Mark Edge at marketfreetalklive.com, and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad. We'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30-second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings, and you don't want to miss it. Email me, mark, at freetalklive.com now. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS, 1-800-425-4610, or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Wall & Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Wall & Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall & Associates, 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary, not a solicitation for legal services. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. Woo! That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at Africa.LRN.FM. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. Africa.LRN.FM. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Join us toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We are going to continue the discussion, uh, the discussion about privilege. Specifically tonight, female privilege. Specific examples of legal privileges that belong to females. 
last night we talked about some privileges allegedly belonging to males, which was a laughable list uh, with a couple of minor good points. And uh, tonight we've just barely scratched the surface of seven of the legal privileges that make it nice to be a lady. So we'll get into that here in a moment. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Uh, James dropped off the line there uh, oh, during the yeah. break, but I just wanted to see if you guys had further comments on this issue of getting on the air and promoting uh, a stock and, and that looking bad. I appreciate where he's coming from, and I will— So do I. I want to make it clear. I don't want to be a stock-promoting show. Like, if you started coming to me with a bunch of different stocks to that wanted to advertise on Free Talk Live, I'd get pretty tired of that. That would be a turnoff to me. And I was completely joking at the end when I said that he was hand-wringing about hand-wringing. Oh, okay. I, was like, I was not actually being serious about that. Um but- so, I mean, for me, what it is, is it's just going to cause me to be careful um, mm-hmm. how, you know, things like that are presented in the future. I felt like we were really careful, by the way, with this this this. It stock. may be like, true, Ian. You know, I, I haven't gone back and listened to first even all, a handful of them. You know, this is a very legislated area, right? Like stocks, there's a lot of regulation. There's a lot of government involvement in this. And I, I don't remember, know any of it. I, I think you very... guys are short some advertisers. Like, I think you need more advertisers that are about, like... Himalayan salt crystals that increase your health by vibrating <laughs> at a certain frequency. Or how about nuclear? What about that? Yeah, nuclear. You know, you can test it. You can go outside and make sure that you're you're not getting uh, yeah. bombarded with uh, electromagnetic rays. Or uh, maybe you know you need a chemtrail detector no. to find out whether what they're no. spraying on you that particular day. Come no, on. we don't say yes to everything. And in this case, I didn't want to do this unless we had our you know butts legally covered. And you know we're very clearly making it clear this is an investment. Investments have risk. And, you know, you could lose on this. And I feel like as long as we're putting it out there that there's risk, I feel like that's a fair advertisement because, you know, it's buyer beware, caveat emptor. And I can understand where James is coming from. And like, you know, there's certain products that have an appearance of impropriety. But I guess I just don't agree that an opportunity to back a company has an appearance of impropriety. I just don't see it as, as seriously uh, as as James see it, sees it. That doesn't mean he's invalid to have his beliefs. It's totally valid to have his beliefs. I just don't see it as uh, the same level of uh, intensity, I guess. What James did for me was a favor. Um, I, I think in a certain way, and the way I think has to do with sort of conflicting opinions being presented in a given time. And I was, you know, I wanted to hear conflicting opinions, and I got to hear them, and I, you know, I think that uh, there's value to it. So that's that's where I'm at. All right, shall we get back to the list of men, uh, the, the uh, re- list of reasons why women have privilege Seven in America? Seven legal rights and privileges afforded only to women. Number one was what? Uh, number one, women have the right to vote without agreeing to die. Right. And even though the draft doesn't actually exist today, it has been turned off. Selective since the service certainly does. Early 70s. Selective service, the operation that creates the draft or that uh, facilitates the draft, is still in operation. They are still uh, funding the draft boards. I don't know if you remember a few years ago, they uh, had put a call out to find new draft board members. It's got to be completely. Creepy. It's got to be completely unpopulated. I mean, hmm. I've, have you ever met anybody who's on the draft board? Well, how would you? I mean, the, I, unless you were in a small town, you probably wouldn't meet the people on a draft board. Um, I don't know how many draft boards there are per city Me either. or whatever. <laughs> Or now, per region. Now I'm thinking our new activism goal for Keen is we need to figure out who's on the Keen draft board. You should get right on that, Johnson. <laughs> That's a um, good idea. You should do that. But there there was news that they were repopulating these draft boards. And at the same time, they were running advertisements on the radio promoting the signing up of Selective Service. And it just seemed like, you know, the winds were blowing in the dr- uh, direction of a draft. Now, they didn't reinstitute the, uh, institute the draft, but there's nothing stopping them. All of the mechanisms are there. All it would take would be for somebody in Congress to say, all right, let's flip the switch, and then they turn it back on, and the draft machine will uh, chug to life again, in which case they will only target men. Going on, number two, women have genital integrity rights. Circumcision of men is a practice that is legal, despite the fact that it is uh, illegal to cut any part of a uh, female infant's genitalia. Mm. Many parents fail to see the double standard in this custom. This is done without consent and only to male infants and children. Um, yeah, that's I don't think that there's that's genital mutilation. I don't think it's the same thing, right? Like, like 
male circumcision, same as female circumcision. It's I don't think it's even the It's not the same in that it's as uh, as intensive or serious of right. an operation, um, but it is the same in that you are destroying nerve endings, and that's you know a similar thing. Absolutely, there. there's there's problems to it, but just a much it's a much bigger deal. Um, a female uh, female uh, circumcision, but what I would point out is is that they're both cultural, but both. Male and female circumcision are cultural, and one of them's acceptable and the other one's not. And if you're going to be for equal rights, you need to consider that this is a this is it. This is a legal right afforded by the law mm. to women only. It's a protection. Don't yeah. yeah protection. I mean, if you want to use uh, that kind of term. Uh, let's go on here with a list in a moment. But Dax is with us in Dallas, Texas. Dax, you're on Free Talk Live. The Ian Johnson and Mark. Hey, how are you? Hey, Dax, go ahead. Good. I just wanted to talk about the uh, advertisements. You know, I, I don't think that, you know, stock advertisements is bad, but the tax advertisements are terrible. What does They're that like mean? A, what is a tax a advertisement? Like an HR, H&R block or what? Uh, the tax relief, tax help, the state's going to steal everything from you. Call us. Ah, uh, yeah. You've got, a, you've, got a, you've got one of those. I thought... Well, it's difficult. This I would correct you on, Dax. You never know who is ours and who isn't, because there's um, there if they're if you're listening on a radio station, then nine of the uh, of commercial nine minutes per hour belong to the station, three minutes per hour belong to our syndicate and have nothing to do with it, and three minutes an hour belong to us. Of those three minutes, there are ads that I never place and never see because they come through a, a brokerage service that gives us pennies on the dollar and um you know so we don't really know what's ours and what isn't and you don't either well that's great i'm glad to hear that because i hate those commercials yeah but i would say that this, i think he might be talking about uh what's yeah. called in the business a per inquiry ad I, no, not just that no? uh, there may be per inquiry ads that are based on that but this is the get tax help today are you behind ten thousand dollars or more in yeah. your taxes call us and we'll just go ahead and negotiate that down with uncle sam exactly. and you can walk away free Something i mean like that, that doesn't sound so bad i i've never actually looked into that to see why you know or how it works um are you familiar well, with those services uh, well, I owed about 10000 and skipped taxes for a while, and those commercials are like a trigger, just anxiety trigger. But I, I, <laughs> Oh, they, they, I see. Not because the they, companies they, are, are you know bad or uh, you, you're skeptical of the product. It's just that you don't like hearing about taxes. Well, you know, those commercials used to scare me, like, oh, i got to do this. I was so afraid of the state for so long. Now it's over with. I don't really get scared, but I still cringe and hate them. Was that ten thousand dollars in one year, or was that for multiple years? It was a couple of years when I was twenty-one. I tried to start my own okay. uh, drafting company, mm. and uh, it worked well as long as I didn't have to pay taxes. So yeah. <laughs> I was getting stuff in trouble. Yep, your your company was destroyed by taxes. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for the feedback on that, uh, Dax. Anything else you want to throw out there tonight? Uh, yeah, the feminist movement is is completely bunk. I agree with Cantwell pretty much. It's just ridiculous. Thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate it. We're going to continue with that story here. Mark number three is that we're about to get to on the list of seven legal privileges that are granted to women. uh, Only to women. That do not exist for men. Uh, So are we going on with three? Number three, women have the right to choose parenthood. While feminists fight to declare that women do not have equal rights, there's another example of how the result is – how the result is women with special rights. Women have three legal options to absolve themselves morally and financially with the responsibility for children they do not want or intend to keep. A woman may abort a child before it is born, mm-hmm. put the child up for adoption without having to notify the or identify the father. Really? A woman in many cases this is the case. There has been a couple of instances where the father finds out and comes and gets the kid back. It's terrible. It hits the wow. news. It's a it's just a mess. And three, a woman may leave the infant in accordance with safe haven law in the state and walk away. Now, with the adoption thing, real quick, is that if, like, dad has left the picture and is sort of gone from the lady's life? One would assume that the father uh, would or, you know, would (laughs) at that point— no, not know that the kid. Right, I think that mostly yeah. that's it. But there have been enough instances that that's the case. Is is that essentially if a woman goes to the hospital, has a kid, doesn't put a dad's name on the uh, birth certificate, it gets very difficult um, for you know. It, it can be difficult for a man if they put the wrong man's name on the birth certificate too. By the way, 
That's true. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. 855-450-3733. It's also been difficult for some men who are sperm donors. They've been found to be liable for child support in some cases. Yep. We're coming up on Free Talk Live. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the Fully Informed Jury Association at FIJA.org. This is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that anytime, anytime is a good time. Good time. For the cooling, drying, fresh scent of Gold Bond powder spray. Like after the gym. Or a crowded elevator ride. Or golf. Or working with farm animals. Or a hard day's work. Like sports casting. You said it, ladies. Stay cool with Gold Bond powder spray. Stay cool with Gold Bond. <laughs> If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, May 7th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.33 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,185 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $232. Antiwar.com reports Yemeni ambassador to the UN, Khalid al-Yemeni, has issued a letter to the UN Security Council urging the international community to quickly invade the country with ground forces to reinstall President Hadi, who resigned in January. Hadi's status as the once and future elected president of Yemen is already the subject of a massive Saudi war against the Yemenis, though after over a month of bombing and a huge civilian death toll, they haven't resolved anything. Yemeni's letter went on to accuse the Shiite Houthis, who control much of the country, of war crimes, including blocking medical aid shipments. In reality, medical aid shipments to Yemen had been halted by a Saudi blockade, with Saudi warplanes destroying the capital city's airport rather than allow a cargo plane to land there. The demand for more war comes amid international efforts led by Russia to secure a humanitarian ceasefire in Yemen, an effort which has so far been blocked by the U.S. and other nations, which have loudly backed the Saudi war. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports a Florida woman being held hostage with her children used a Pizza Hut ordering app to ask store employees to call 911 on her behalf. The Pizza Hut in Avon Park, Florida received an online order at 3.40 p.m. on Monday from regular customer Cheryl Treadway and the chef Alonia Hawk noticed the comment section for the order of a small hand-tossed classic pizza with pepperoni read, please help, get 911 to me, and 911 hostage help. 
Manager Candy Hamilton printed the order and contacted police. Hamilton told WFLA-TV, We've never seen that before. I've been here 28 years and never, never seen nothing like that come through. Police said Treadway and her children were being held in their home at Knife Point by the woman's boyfriend, Ethan Earl Nickerson. A Highlands County Sheriff Office negotiator arrived on the scene and Treadway came out of the home with one of the children, but two others remained inside with Nickerson. Nickerson was arrested without further incident about 20 minutes later. Treadway and her children were not injured. She told police that she and Nickerson had been arguing and he had taken her phone away after threatening her with the knife. She then convinced Nickerson to let her use the phone to order pizza and took the phone back after the order. Nickerson was charged with aggravated assault with a weapon without intent to kill, battery, false imprisonment, and obstructing justice by depriving communication to law enforcement. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, speaking yesterday from Washington after holding peace talks with President Obama and Vice President Biden, Kurdish President Masoud Barzani insisted that not only is Iraq's unity voluntary, but that an independent Kurdish state is coming. Barzani said independent Kurdistan is coming. It's a continued process. It will not stop. It will not step back, adding that there are no immediate plans to secede from Iraq. Iraqi Kurdistan has been seen moving closer to secession in recent months, however, securing more disputed territory around Kirkuk and continuing to dispute oil revenue. President Obama has made clear he opposes Kurdish secession, saying Iraqi unity is U.S. policy, but the military spending bill making its way through Congress seems to recognize both the Kurds and Sunni militias as separate countries for the sake of shipping arms directly to them. The Iraqi government has opposed such armed shipments, believing they will strengthen the Kurds even more than they already are and make secession much easier for them to unify unilaterally declare without fear of war. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A fully leveled up video game character marvels at how far he's come, and the milk rushing through a jug handle is having the time of its life. This is the Onion Week in Review. This week, top executives from the U.S. financial sector announce they're about ready to ruin the world again. Representatives from all major banking and investment institutions said that more than enough time has passed since they last caused a major global economic meltdown and confirmed they're pretty much fully prepared to bring about a brand new worldwide financial crisis. We feel like we've given people enough time to get comfortable again. Consumer spending has increased. Housing market has rebounded. So yeah, we're all set to go ahead and ruin the global economy again. And in other news, the perfect gift for a local man is unfortunately a gift certificate to Lowe's Cinemas. Mall shoppers look on in awe as a helpless 15-year-old girl is viciously torn apart by a pack of her peers. And a drunk pilot decides to pull over onto a cloud until he sobers up. You will now hear three gong strikes and a recitation of the great chant before being ushered to the hallowed garden. For more, keep checking theonion.com. This is the Onion News Network. It is Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free here and bring up whatever's on your mind. Coming up, the sex on the beach story that's been all over social media earlier this week uh, that I don't believe we've covered yet here on Free Talk Live. Uh, I want to get to that. And also, uh, Johnson, you're going to be telling us about reading to kids. One professor is saying it could be bad. Yes. Uh, And I think that sounds pretty ridiculous from the headline, but we'll learn more about that when we get a chance Our uh, toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. If you're just tuning in, we started in the first hour going through another list of seven things. Last night, we spent the bulk of the show talking about seven ostensible privileges that men have that are supposedly undeniable, many of which were just laughable, like, you know, we can stand up while going pee. And uh, we're now going through seven legal privileges that women have. So last night, it wasn't legal anything it was just one guy saying saying things uh that you know he was that was better about life as a man for him in his opinion and uh, these are specific legal protections and benefits uh that the state grants to women mark you are uh you've gone through four of the seven That's so right. far can you briefly recap 
those four, and then uh, we'll continue on with the list. Yeah, the uh, the problem with the, this is one of these things where you uh, click through. Oh, so, geez. Um, <laughs> every single one. If you're going to ask me to do that, I'm I sort of have to need to write them down. So the first one is is that uh, you that men have to uh, let's see, women can vote without having to agree sign to up, die. Uh, agree to die. Yep. Um, which is you know it's a really great point. Although I would point out that there, I know I know a lot of people who sign up for a selective service, and not one of them has been uh, pulled into the military against their will, nor uh, you know died as a result. But it's interesting. The second one has to do with uh, genital, you know, circumcision. Yeah, circumcision, male and female circumcision. Um, I think that's a good point. Uh, number three has to, is uh, women have the right to choose parenthood, and uh, men don't, right? Like, you know, you're uh, upon ejaculation, your, your decisions as a man are over, whereas women's really are just beginning. Hmm. And they gave uh, several points regarding that. Number four. I think that's one of the weaker ones personally, but nonetheless. Why, why do you think that? I think it's huge. Well, I think that it's sort of stating the obvious that men don't control pregnancy, right? Because, you know, you yeah, aren't it's carrying the legal the baby. aspect of yeah. it. It's right. not it's not the pregnancy because I really do believe that the uh, from what seems clear to me is is that the child belongs to the woman. Yeah. But in our legal system, they claim that the child is half the man's because he has to at the very least support half the child. However, he doesn't yeah. get a lot of the uh, he doesn't get any choices on when that child's born if that He does child's have born. a choice. He can have the choice of not having sex. And and therefore, he the woman does have has a that choice. same choice, and she yeah. has a bunch more. And we're talking about legal rights afforded yeah. to uh, women that are not afforded to men, and it's clear. I don't think it's necessarily uh, unfair that a woman has more choices in that area legally, because she also has more choices physically uh, as well, and she's the one who has to bear the burden of actually having that child and going or through not. the nine months of uh, you know pros- process yeah. of having it has to. You just said something that's patently not true. She has to bear the responsibility. No, she doesn't. Uh, she has to bear the responsibility of having the child, meaning that she has to push it out. She has to deal with the morning no, she sickness. She, uh, the man can't do that. I, I mean, maybe she doesn't have to bear that responsibility. She can have an abortion if she wants to have it. She has to bear that responsibility. But the man cannot bear those responsibilities. Sure, but you know, she doesn't have sur- to. That's it's, you're you're saying something. That's I'm saying only if she wants to have the child. She's the only one who can have can, those responsibilities. Can. That's she, correct. That's a choice. If, if she, she wants it, then what? Why is you know like what you said is because she has to do that. She should have more privileges or, or legal privileges bestowed upon her. But she doesn't have to do that. She wants to. That's right. Therefore, she's making that right. choice. So why should she get additional? I'm not saying she but, has to do anything. What, that's what I'm saying is why should she? Why should a woman get additional rights for that? I don't think she should have additional rights. I'm just saying I don't see it as necessarily a problem that, you know, she might be able to decide to give the child away if the man who had stuck his penis in her is not around at the moment or has not been around for the last nine months and and or not paying attention to uh, his, you know, ex-girlfriend's pregnancy. And then all of a sudden, six months later, is like, hey, you had a baby? Well, I should have that (laughs) baby now. And, you know, come on, pay attention, guy, if you want to have a claim over this child. That's just one of the aspects that was um, mentioned. There were three in that, and I think of you're. I think you're grabbing on to the weakest one. I will concur with you that. uh, Uh, That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying this shouldn't be on the list. I'm just saying of the three so far, the four so far, I don't find it to be the most persuasive. Uh, That's all. No, I find it highly persuasive, but uh, and maybe not the aspect that you pointed out. Number four, women have the right to be assumed caregivers. When fighting for legal custody today, laws in many states assume that one um, is a primary caregiver and one the tertiary caregiver. Typically, the primary caregiver is a woman. There's such thing as shared custody. However, it requires that the tertiary caregiver must sue to prove the ability to be worthy of equal parenting, which is difficult and costly. Mm. The legal presumption of shared parenting upon divorce, that children have a legal right to an equal relationship with both their mother and their father following a relationship breakdown, is strongly resisted by the National Organization for Women and other feminist organizations who know that women will almost always ways win custody of children under the default laws so i think that's a pretty uh, you know pretty pretty yeah, clear c- one custody screws the guy totally yep and uh number five women have the right to call unwanted wanted coerced sex rape 
Um, this is a madman scene. They got a picture here with a uh, young man apparently being, uh, you know, uh, touched by an older woman. This madman scene hardly stirred a uh, conversation after it aired um, like, a, like it typically would if the roles had been reversed. It's understood that in our society, women have agency over their bodies, and any hint of coercion into sexual interaction has been seen as a violation of women's rights. We have actually read an article on the air a couple of nights ago about basically uh, some feminist gal was claiming that all penis and vagina sex is rape. That was her claim. So um, the suggestion, which I think is a patently ludic ludicrous mm. claim here. But in this case, this is, uh, you know, what it's saying is, is that, you know, the fact is it does happen where women coerce men into sex um, in one way or another, and no one ever believes them. And I've got to say, I, I don't, I, 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 like, inside my heart of hearts, I just don't believe it either. Like, I, I guess I'm just that kind of guy, right? Like, that's... Well, you know, whatever. Give one, give her one for the team, pal. Um, you know, like I'm just that way, mm. so I'm less convinced by this than the most. Sort of emotionally, I understand it intellectually, but so wait, just to clarify something, yeah. what this one's saying, they're not saying that unwanted coerced sex isn't rape. They're saying that women can say that it's rape, but men can't. They're saying that that's rape, right? I mean, that's like the definition of rape. Right. They're they're essentially saying is if uh, if Two people, two a male and a female, were left alone in a room. Um, they walk out the door. Both of them claim that uh, the other one raped them. People are more likely, far more likely, mm -hmm. the legal system and people generally are far more likely to believe the woman yeah. than the man. I think is what they're claiming, and I tend to believe that that's the case. Well, I think that's uh, it's ridiculous to believe that a man wouldn't say no to sex, and that's where that's I think that's where you're coming from. That you find it hard to believe if uh, if a man says he was raped, you find that tough to believe, and I I. I guess I don't feel the same way. I mean, if you say no and someone continues, that's rape, right? Yeah, I, I guess I had a situation that would fall into the greater category of, um, you know, co coerced sex. I had an ex-girlfriend who had my garage door code, yep. and she would, you know, for a series of weeks, sneak in um, and, you know, do whatever she did to wake me up. While and she was your ex. While she was my ex. Okay. So I don't think that she could, at that point, assume that uh, I wanted to have sex. I think she could after the first time, but uh -huh. not the first time, right? right? The first time, I was coerced and then went along with it. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't need therapy for this, I swear to God. But that would be my claim is, is that, eh, you know. Now, when you say coerce, I mean, to coerce means to force, right? I, mean, I was forced because I was asleep. I didn't have, it was non-consensual. How's that? Okay. Um, I don't think that she could claim but, consent. She was right, but she couldn't claim consent. Yeah, see, that's an interesting situation. It was You say it was non-consensual, but as soon as you opened your eyes and you did not say, hey, cut that out, <laughs> right? then you immediately gave consent. Did you not? Yes, but it was afterwards, not before. And some people, if, it, if the genders were reversed, would call... It a rapist. Okay, I see call, where you're coming from rapist. there. A55 450 freeze the toll free number. You can share your thoughts on consent, uh, consensual sex versus questionable circumstances, I guess we could say. A55 450 free, and you can join us here on Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. When we ran out, we stopped using it. Why would you stop? Why undo all the good that's been accomplished? We thought everything was fine, and that was not a good thing. No, 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 no. He started stinking. It was awful. Shedding comes back. Loss of hair. Lots of dandruff. Scratching will return. His shedding will increase. If I ever took Roy off of Dynavite, he would go back to his hair loss. <gasps> D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. When I get down to the bottom of my box of Dynavite, when I get to about three quarters. Oh no, I've got a couple more scoops. It's time to place my order. Dynavite.com. Each and every day she is getting that Dynavite. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Just feed your dog right. Use Dynavite. If it's working, don't quit. Don't do what I did and run out. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? 
These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path, beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way. Love as your guide. And liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. In every age, a technology is created that upends the foundations of society. The wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Join us here toll free. 855-453 is the number. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show here at username lrn.fm. And if you were watching the cam during the break, you saw Johnson and Mark shoveling Sherry's berries into their mouths. Um, delicious chocolate-covered strawberries. I would uh, never do such a thing. I'm saving them for my, all, for my mother. <laughs> Uh, it is now the time to get them for mom because Mother's Day is coming up this weekend and you want to get your order in now so you can make sure shipping is taken care of appropriately uh, within the appropriate period of time. But uh, there's a real special deal that they're offering at the moment at Sherry's Berries, which is going to make it, I think, very, very attractive. They've lowered the price on doubling the order of these awesome chocolate-covered berries. White milk, dark chocolatey goodness. Johnson is currently halfway through. His chocolate, a dark chocolate one, which has I the... I take a bite in the air if you want me to. The little, <laughs> the little chocolate chips all over the outside, which is... I love I think, chasing after those things after they fall off, because like, they yeah. don't all go in your mouth. Like yeah. Some of them fall off into whatever you're kind of catching things They're with. really good. Yeah. Uh, so you won't be disappointed, and Mom is going to love this. Go to berries.com, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. Click the microphone, type in F-T-L. You get the you know the usual deal of forty percent off for you as a Free Talk Live listener, starting at just nineteen ninety nine. You get these giant dip, freshly dipped strawberries, uh, which are by the way topped with chocolate chips, nuts, and decorative swizzle. But now, if you double the order, it's only five dollars extra for doubling the size of the order. You will not be disappointed with these berries, and so therefore you're going to want to double the order. So go do that now over at berries.com. Get them for mom. Get them for your wife. Get them for you. Uh, or get them for your loved ones, whoever. Berries.com, B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com, code FTL. So I have a question for you. So what I noticed about the two berries tonight is that these berries had ends on them. 
and ends as ends in, in the, like the stems, the green stems. And yeah, the, the box Danica brought home the other night um, had no ends. It was I've completely seen, end free. I've always I seen like, ends on mine. Yeah, I, was, I, I remember uh, there always being ends because it kind of just shows. Yeah, it, I mean, it makes that sense. sort of more fresh berry look to right. it. They weren't accidentally coated over with the chocolate or something. No, like there was that? just there was all the berries were completely coated all the way around and had no uh, no stems on them. I I have experienced where the, uh, the 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 end the little the little green hat on the strawberry yeah. is covered in chocolate and I'm just like ah, screw, screw it. it yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> like it's, it's it covered in chocolate it tastes yeah. fine. sometimes I'll do that yeah, sometimes I'll do that with a strawberry that's not covered in chocolate I mean right. you just eat it. And it's, <laughs> I'm pickier it's about foliage. it. Foliage, it's good for you. Yeah, I'm pickier about it if I'm eating them on just a regular strawberry, but on Sherry's berries, just eat the whole thing. So, yeah. uh, berries.com. Use code FTL by clicking the microphone as we go to Jay Noon on the line uh, on the amp lines. Hello, Jay. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, good. Go ahead. So, uh, yeah, when I was 18 years old or 17, you know, the school teachers were all like, "Hey, you're gonna sign up for selective service," and I'm like, "No, I don't. My signature is my property." I don't have to surrender to anybody. And they're like, oh, are you going to do this? And they, boy, they harassed me for right up until I graduated. And I graduated probably a month before I turned 19 or something. Hmm. Told me I was going to go to jail. I said, send them after me. I'll talk to them. Call the feds. Go ahead. They were crazy about it, actually. Man, I wish so, I had the... the uh... I wish I had that courage at that age, uh, Jay. That's heroic. How would they know that you didn't sign up? Just out of curiosity. I remember when I, you know, like I, I signed up when I turned 18. I never thought a thing about it. They get your information from the school system, so they, they know. Right? Okay. That's, that's how they know to approach you in the first place. Hmm. I assume that's how they knew. I don't really know how they knew. I didn't care. But my father never signed up. Nothing happened to him. My dad's like, no. You don't have to sign up. Presumably, if and, you uh, did not go to the government schools, uh, then you probably would not be targeted by them. That would be my guess. I don't know if they hit up the private schools somehow, if they get their listings of students. But certainly, if you're homeschooled or unschooled, I suspect those people... Uh, and please, correct me if I'm wrong, Yes, I'll correct you if you're wrong, because I went to a private school, and they they require it for a license, driver's license. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I don't remember yeah, I had that. a driver's license. Um, up until uh, I was about 21, I just never renewed it uh, because, you know, I don't want to ask government for permission, but the, that wasn't a problem getting a driver's license when I was 18. Wait a minute, wait, um, Johnson, where did you get your driver's license? Connecticut. In Connecticut. Okay, I was, was going to say, I don't remember that in Florida. Right, it, um, might, not, it might have been just Connecticut. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That seems like a New England thing because I think they do that yeah. up, up here. But uh, in Florida, I got a license at 16, and they didn't give me any kind of selective service. I, get, I got the selective service paperwork when I was 17 uh, in the mail. It was like a little postcard yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's what I got, too. You better sign this or else we're going to put you in prison. And so I was scared, and I went ahead and, and did it, and I didn't have the courage that you did at that time, yeah, It still scars him. I mean, you just tell that it rankles him that he filled out that piece of paper. If he could go back in time, I he would had, totally like, if he had that. three trips back in time, this would be one of them. He's yeah. like, I'm going to go get that selective service postcard. I remember that one time I actually saluted the flag and <laughs> said the Pledge of Allegiance. I, <laughs> And, Jay, That's nothing kinda... actually happened to you, right? Like, you know, you avoided this, and they bugged you about yeah. it, but there was no other consequence. That's right. There was nothing ever happened. And uh, there's about six or seven, maybe even ten kids I know right here in town that you're a little younger than me, and they kind of hang out with us and stuff, our family. And we've all, you know, we kind of push the ideas of liberty on everybody around us. And they, uh, they've they never signed, and they're some of them, well, one's like 30 years old. He was just here talking about it a few minutes ago, and a couple are in there. 20s. They not, and they never signed up for selective service. They haven't had a problem. Now you said it was the school bureaucrats that were doing the uh, the pestering about it. Did you ever get a follow up threat from the selective service themselves? Oh yeah, actually, at the time I had a Colorado driver's license because I got the, a driver's license in Colorado because they didn't have a social security number when I was like 16 because uh, I couldn't do it in mass. Mm -hmm. And they were sending my mom. The, uh, the stuff. My mom was, oh, she was going nuts about not, not signing up, not doing my civic duty. But, you know, her father was a state trooper and she's quite the statist. Um, and my parents, you know, were long divorced by then. And, and anyways, uh, uh, she, I don't know how they did in the school, but they were, they were harassing me to, uh, you know, register to vote too, also in the school. And, you know, I asked them, you know, if they could define U.S. citizen and, you know, these terms on the voter registration, and I would just have fun with them. But, I, you know, I never did any of that. 
And but yeah, they uh, they sent letters to my mom saying, uh, you know, I'm going to go away. And then the guidance counselor <laughs> said, oh, you know, you're going to go to jail. And you know, they, they were were very concerned for you. It's you know? sick. I mean, it really that is the the. I think it is probably for a lot of young males who don't have any other otherwise interactions with the state. Uh, this is probably their first real big state threat. You know, unless you unless you got in trouble as a kid for something when you were a teenager with the cops, this is the first big threat that they really come at you with, and uh, and it is scary. And uh, kudos to you, Jay. Thanks for telling the story tonight, man. I appreciate the uh, the input. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. And of course, the other big threat is that you won't get a scholarship and you'll be denied federal jobs. Some of these things are true, right? Like you'll yeah. be denied federal jobs and you won't get a scholarship. Okay. I, you know, it's, it depends on what, how important it is to you. If I was screw federal jobs and college is overrated. So the well, hell it. it depends on what you want to do. If I That's wanted true. to go to college, I'd probably fill out that little piece of paper. Mm-hmm. Um, ultimately, it has had no consequence on my life. Yeah. And if I think I were, that's important to point out. If I still felt like I was being coerced, and I don't remember if I did what I did back then, but I think that you could always sign it under duress or something like that. It may, might make you feel a little better. It probably does nothing for you legally, but it, it feels good to do that. 855 450 free or sign it something else like go F yourself. <laughs> 855 450 free. You can take control of the airwaves here. Coming up, the sex on the beach. Plus, we've got two more on the list of legal privileges that women are granted in the United States. States. It's Free Talk Live. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's 
the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You can join us here on the radio. We're talking about alleged privileges that uh, women have over men. Last night we were talking about men's privileges over women, according to one article uh, by some feminist blog. Now, uh, tr what's the one you're using tonight as your source? Libertarian Liberty Republic. Republic. Libertarian Republic. Okay. Uh, that's uh, where you're coming from here. We've got seven of these legal privileges that women are granted by the system. We've gone through five out of the seven. We'll continue those here in a moment. I am going to Freedom Fest, and I urge you to join me at the world's largest Liberty world's largest liberty conference. Uh -huh. It's a big place. And You've it's, been there before. Yeah, I have. A couple um, times, right? I can't remember how many times. It seems like just once. I think once. at least twice. Okay. It seems like just I'm once. I'm pretty sure I, you've been there twice. Well, you know, maybe it's all blurring together for yeah. me. July 8th through the 11th, just think 7-Eleven in Vegas. And uh, it's going to be at the Planet Hollywood. And it's a great event. It's called New American Dream. There's going to be a historic debate between— They're going to have a whole convention at a Planet Hollywood. Now, this I have no idea how big the Planet Hollywood is in Vegas. It must be a fairly large facility, right? Like, don't they normally have this in a hotel kind of convention hall? Uh, yeah, space? it's it's actually um, what this place is is what they call a casino, and oh. they uh, you know this. Is, I think of Planet Hollywood as like just a restaurant, but I, I've never been to one of them, so I don't know. Uh, so what you're saying is that Planet Hollywood in Vegas is actually a full on like hotel with a casino or something. Yes, like that? it's a huge facility. Wow, and it's uh, it's got a big. Man, they got a big event hall there, and awesome. they've got some other smaller ones where people are doing uh, things. In the big event hall, there will be the historic, the, the what they're calling the dream debate of the century. Oh, really? Paul Krugman versus Steve Moore. Steve Moore, the number one Wall Street Journal columnist and chief economist for the Heritage Foundation. He takes on Paul Krugman. Really? They, the, they got Paul Krugman to come out to an event? called Freedom Fest? I, that's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> that is a pretty big showdown. I mean, it's that's a, a big showdown, and th that's just part of it. When you start looking at these names here, um, you're looking at uh, Alan, Congressman Alan West, Steve Forbes, Senator Mike Lee, Grover Norquist, uh, George Gilder, John Allison, Glenn Beck, uh, John Fund, Steve Moore, as I had mentioned, uh, Star Parker, Congressman Justin Amash, Floyd Brown, uh, Joseph Farrar, uh, Mark and Joanne Skousen, have Mark uh, puts on the event. Hmm. I mean, they've got very big names at this event. It's going to be an awesome time. I'm going to be there, and you can come out and meet me. It'd be really awesome if you do that. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you do register for Freedom Fest, please do this. When you go to freedomfest.com and you register... You can actually call um, a telephone number, too. But we go to FreedomFest.com, you register, you click radio to let them know that— uh, How you found it, out. Yeah, how you found out, and that will—I guess that's—we're the only radio they're doing as far really? as advertisement. Yep. So if they heard—if you heard it on the radio, then you heard it from us. Okay. And Or you can call their number, and Ian, you're going to love the number. Okay. 855-850-FREE. Ah. It's 855 <laughs> 850 free. Whereas ours is 855 3733. Same yeah. number with a four. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So there you go. Um, a special appearance by Dinesh D'Souza. What's the um, website? I'm sorry. It's freedomfest.com. And when's it happening? July 7th through the 11th. Okay. Well, cool. seven, 7 to 11. You is arrive on the 7th to see it on the 8th. Is uh, it a weekend? Uh, it's over. I don't, you know, I don't know what the days are specifically, but I think it's over a weekend. Okay. I think it's interesting that Krugman is answering this debate request or whatever, or doing this event, considering I think Bob Murphy has had a standing uh, invite to debate 
uh, Krugman for with, a very long time with a very large bounty going to a charity. A large purse going to a charity if right. uh, Krugman agrees, yeah. So July, what no. a slime ball that kind of makes Krugman. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I mean, not that I didn't know that already about him, but... You know, it just makes it really, really obviously apparent. July 7th is a Tuesday, and the 11th is a Saturday. So, yeah, we'll be running over a portion of the weekend. Steve Wynn, Peter Thiel, uh, John Mackey. These are big names. Paris Rosen. And there's yeah, some big money names out all there, All the too. names. Yeah. Like, these are big big players in, in a lot of areas. And the, the speeches there are always informative, and they have a huge vendor hall, all kinds of stuff going on. Mm. I mean, several rows the last time we were there. It's, it's a big deal, and I've... Uh, I made the best connections I've made in an event there, so wow. I'm, I'm excited about it. All right, cool. Our toll-free number tonight, 855-453. Mark, let's uh, continue on this list of legal privileges, which, according to you, Johnson, is a very truncated list. This could be much, much longer. Right. Uh, the privileges that women have in the United States uh, governmental society. Yep, number six. Women have domestic violence shelters and government housing benefits. Mm. Um. Men are generally not eligible to receive aid from domestic violence shelters. There are no court advocacy groups for male victims of domestic violence, and men and their uh, children are not eligible for state and federal money for housing like women are if they are abused. Yeah, pretty much true. There was recently uh, an event here in Keene, New Hampshire, that was happening on the college campus that was about domestic violence, but it was all about women. And the, uh, the sh- it was called Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. And there's a guy in the area who kind of takes up this issue as his mantle piece, if you will, and mm-hmm. uh, he's really concerned with it. And he pointed out, why shouldn't it say Walk a Mile in Our Shoes, as in our shoes, those of us who are the victims of domestic violence, which would include men as well, because men are frequently the victims of domestic violence. They say 50% of the time. If not more so, because they don't get reported as often as female uh, you know, recipients uh, being v- violated. I've had more than one uh, you know, intimate partner think that it was funny to do the sort of the fake slapping thing. Um, I've been hit for real. Well, I, I know you have, yeah. but I just won't let it go anywhere. No, that is unacceptable behavior. If I you know, hit you when you say something I don't like or don't have a comeback to, it's going to be domestic violence and, um, you know, it's going to hurt if I do it. So you don't do, you don't get to do it. And that's just the end of the story. Not acceptable. And you set your boundaries early on. I think you're going to have a much better time. I never call the cops in uh, in any instance on that. And I imagine a lot of other men do not call the cops in those circumstances. So if I hit you, well. would you call the cops? I guess, no. How many times? How many times could I hit you, and you wouldn't call the cops? Um, I probably wouldn't let you back in my house <laughs> if you were behaving that way. I'm not going to put up with it. I mean, back, you know, I'm talking about over a decade ago is when this happened to me, and uh, I had my reasons for putting up with it back then. I'm not going to go into those reasons right now, but uh, I would not tolerate that today. There you go. Yeah. So that's number six. Number seven. Women have the right to exclusive benefits for being a business owner. Um, own a small business. If you're a woman, you can get significant benefits from the government. Hmm. There are multiple, uh, multiple multitudes, excuse me, of resources available to women that are not available to men, such as loans and tax breaks. There's even free grant money available with direct appropriations coming out of the taxpayer's wallet to give women a leg up in sm- starting a business. Hmm. The Small Business Administration aggressively pol- polices male-owned businesses that try to pass themselves off as female-owned businesses, um, and there you go. That's um, wow. That's the, seven things. Yeah, the, the the article finishes up. So tell us more about this patriarchy of which you speak. Huh. Do you want me to add a couple more? Yeah, sure. Just at random. So uh, if I'm not smart but pretty, I can marry and achieve the social and financial level of my husband without ever working. Um, regardless of my mate value, society has organized fertility clinics and social welfare programs that will allow me to have children and provide for them should I choose to reproduce without a mate or marriage. Um, I not only have the more valuable and sought after sexual identity, but I have complete control over my reproductive choice and in many ways over the reproductive choice of the opposite sex. I think that one's sort of covered in the list mm-hmm. that we already had. But uh, Where is this coming from? This is uh, from a mensresistance.wordpress.com or okay. something. It's one right. of the lists. It's, it's and, probably and I don't like one of the everything that, that these, uh, these, these the men's, men's rights, rights groups, groups sure. do by any stretch of the imagination. But as... As the women is the as the feminist voices get more crazy over time, the men's yeah. rights movements begin to make more sense to me. Hmm. Um, let's see. I'm trying to avoid ones that are covered by the list that we already have. So, 
Uh, people will help me more when I'm in need, and I will receive no social penalty or stigma for it. Yeah, that's true. A lot of this is social, right? Yeah. So, I mean, we, Mark, you were specifically covering legal, and I think uh, those are far more quantifiable. But right. there is, a, there are a lot there of there are huge social ones too. Like when I'm a date, when I'm on a date, things will be paid for me. That one, and then also, I think that's um, changed a lot over time. Yeah, there's a, just a lot a pretty girl can get away with. I mean, period. That but uh, a pretty girl isn't the same as a woman. That's true. <laughs> I and can discriminate against the opposite sex ruthlessly without social penalty. There's more coming up here, uh, 855, 450 free. Let's talk about something that a man and a woman did consensually together. That was sex on the beach in Florida. They're looking at prison time now. We'll tell you about it here in moments. You can share your thoughts. There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We're having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150-plus stations. Email me, Mark Edge, at mark at freetalklive.com, and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad. We'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30 second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings and you don't want to miss it. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com now. You've heard them on Alex Jones. You've seen them on Ancient Aliens. Now come see them live at Contact in the Desert 2015 in Joshua Tree this May. Experience four full days of science-centered lectures, workshops, intensives, and field work on ancient astronauts, extraterrestrial intelligence, human origins, crop circles, contact experiences, UFO sightings, and more. Meet Chariots of the Gods author Eric Von Daniken, Ancient Aliens host Giorgio A. Sokolos, New York Times bestselling author David Wilcock, Dead Dog. Doctors Don't Lie author Dr. Joel Wallach, astronauts Edgar Mitchell and Story Musgrave, Earth Files publisher Linda Moulton Howe, author Jim Mars, and many of the world's most respected researchers and scientists exploring answers to one of the greatest questions of all time. More speakers, more panels, more things to do. Join us at the Joshua Tree Retreat Center, which has a long history of sightings and contact experiences. For advanced tickets and conference schedule, go to contactinthedesert.com. That is contactinthedesert.com. You know how annoying it is when someone keeps stopping mid-sentence as though he or she were asking you a series of questions? Avoid doing that. It sounds unnervingly tentative, and it imposes upon the listener to help you complete the thought. And if you're a job seeker, this alone could be a deal killer. An effective communicator sounds more confident. Complete the thought. Avoid making the listener impatient. With money and attention so scarce now, Effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter rather than blending into the blah, blah, blah will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Survivalspeech.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his Porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
It's Free Talk Live. Join us here on the radio waves by dialing toll-free. You can still talk about privilege, male versus female privilege, alleged privileges. 855-450-FREE is our toll-free number. We've got Skype as well. Skype username here is lrn.fm. Uh, if you're not yet on our Skype list, go ahead and send a contact request. We'll approve it once it uh, once we notice it coming in, and then after that, it's easy for you to call on Skype. You'll sound great when you do so. And if you want to help get the sound of Free Talk Live into more people's ears around the world, then please become an amplifier. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. Uh, you go to amp.freetalklive.com, get signed up there. We actually had, uh, let's see, uh, I was going to say Jay Noon was on the amp line, but he actually wasn't on the amp lines. We do have amp lines, phone numbers that you can call if you're a Free Talk Live amplifier to get on the radio with us. Also, if you're an amplifier, you get access to the amp-only Facebook group, which is where a heated discussion that went on the air tonight about the stock that we were talking about earlier, that discussion already happened on the AMP forum. So you got it first if you are a Free Talk Live amplifier uh, on the AMP forum. Yeah. You, you like what Free Talk Live does? Join our club. It's the Amplifier Club, and you can be in the uh, the ampl- Amplifier forum. And uh, well, I, I guess there is an AMP forum, but there's also the AMP Facebook group. That's where it all happens these That's days. Right. Well, I mean, Forums are forum, kind of dead. Right. Uh, we still do have the forum for those of you who want that, too. So it's all there for you as perks. Go and get signed up. Get the details. Use any major credit card through PayPal. Use Visa or MasterCard, whatever works best for you. Go to amp.freetalklive.com, amp.freetalklive.com. Still to come, Johnson, you'll be telling us about one professor claiming that reading to your children is something that could be disadvantaging to other children, meaning right. that it's a bad thing to help your kids educate themselves and make them smarter. Uh, We'll get into that. But first, Vice.com reporting here on a story that I'm actually surprised hasn't been covered yet here on Free Talk Live. Jose Caballero and Elisa Alvarez are now convicted public sex havers. On Monday, 40-year-old Caballero and 20-year-old Alvarez were found guilty of lewd and lascivious behavior for some over-the-top grinding that turned into sex on july 20th of last year in bradenton beach florida yes mark this happened pretty much in our hometown i'm going to go ahead and be the 13th juror and say no didn't happen they didn't have sex (laughs) well bradenton beach does nothing if not drip with class is that a not not cool place or Uh, i mean it's one of three municipalities on that uh that island strip out there so there's bradenton there's anna maria island anna maria Anna Maria island anna maria is on anna maria island Uh as is um there's also holmes beach and bradenton beach yeah bradenton beach is where the uh, famous coquina beach is uh okay and so what's so scuzzy about it is it just like bradenton beach is worse than the other two it's bradenton it has the word bradenton in it and that just means it's bad well, I'm being from there. I, yeah. you know, I just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not real thrilled with, uh, with Sarasota's uh, ug- ugly little sister, Braden Tucky. Yeah. The question isn't whether you're, they're going to have the thro- the book thrown at them, but how hard a three-year-old girl watched the couple, according to witnesses, and the maximum prison sentence is 15 years, and the couple will have to register as sex offenders, despite not having any sex. The well, wait. They they weren't having sex. Nope. Keep reading the article. The sexy incident was brazen, taking place in front of multiple beachgoers. In the video, uh, Al- Alvarez is on top, grinding away on Caballero. The scene was recorded by an anonymous grandma, according to the local Fox TV news affiliate. The lovers refused to take a plea deal, according to prosecutors. Quote, we gave them a reasonable offer, what we felt was reasonable, and they decided it wasn't something they wanted to accept responsibility for. So we decided to punish them for not taking the plea That's by giving them do. the maximum. Uh, well, they haven't been sentenced yet, from what I understand, uh, but they could hit, be hit with 15 years. The assistant state attorney, Anthony da Fonseca, told the Miami Herald, adding they declined to give up despite the video and despite all the witnesses. When asked if the maximum 15-year sentence was looking likely, the defense attorney for Caballero told the Herald that the judge would have no discretion in this matter and, quote, that's what he'll get. The prosecution, or excuse me, but does having sex in public, no matter how shamelessly, really warrant a potential 15-year prison sentence? Isn't getting sand all up in your junk punishment enough? (laughs) Dr. Mary Ann Franks, professor at the University of Miami School of Law, told Vice, quote, 
The prosecution here was more zealous than in the vast majority of rape cases, yep. suggesting that law enforcement is worried more about people being offended than people being assaulted. Now, it's also important to point out in Florida, they have the 85% rule, which means that if you serve 85% of your sentence minimum, so there's no amount of good time or getting off or whatever that can get these people out. Getting off. <laughs> before, say, 12 and a half years or whatever 85% of uh, 15 is. So basically, um, these people looked like they were having sex, Johnson, is basically what happened, right? Because sure. they didn't I, admit to it. I, I just realized, I'm, I'm thinking that you were reading from the same version that I uh, read from, and you're not. Um, my story came from the, that I was, I had originally shared, and I got into a nice debate about this on Facebook, Um because I like to do that from time to time. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the version I got came from the Miami Herald. Um, and so I don't know if it was mentioned, but do you know how long the jury deliberated? 15 before? minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Um, and one of the things that was uh, uh, interesting. That ain't much of a deliberation, no. by the way. That's probably mostly the uh, you know the bureaucrats going and talking to them about how to deliberate. You know. Yeah. Um, I think we're all in agreement here, are we, everybody? Yeah, okay, let's go. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. They just wanted to get out of there. Um, let me see. Won't be telling. Da, da, da. We got to protect the children from sex. I well, mean, one of the problems here is is that you've got two situations going on. The, the, so the jury may have felt that they were guilty of lewd and lascivious, and they may very well have been guilty of the, um, you know, the definition of lewd and lascivious. But the jury doesn't get to mete out the punishment. That's correct. In the state of Florida, and they aren't also aware of the possible punishments right. either. They, they're, it's often kept from them. So correct. this is a real problem because the jury may say, well, yeah, okay, they're guilty, and I think that they probably should. Uh, do get, some community service. Get 200 hours right? community service yeah. or something like that. Like that maybe this would be a, you know, maybe a little house arrest with an anklet or something like that. I don't even think any one of these jurors would have said, you know what I'd like to do? Spend my tax dollars, put these people in prison for know, 15 Mark. years. Who knows? Okay. I this found is the, Florida after I all. I found the part that I don't think is in the Vice article. So it says, family members of the couple defended the two outside the courthouse, saying that the crime did not deserve this kind of attention. He's a great person, said Caballero's mother of her son, declining to give her name. There are other things out there that we need to worry about, and they're still loose. People who have done worse stuff. She's an 18-year-old woman with a 40-year-old man, said Carlos Alvarez of his daughter, Alyssa Alvarez. They always say women can be better than men, but they fall in love and they make a lot of mistakes. Family members who witnessed the act and a Bradenton Beach police officer as well as Caballero testified in the case. The defense argued that the two weren't actually having sex, but that Alvarez had been dancing on Caballero or nudging him to wake him up. Like a lap dance. Sure. Uh, she wasn't dancing, Daphneska said during the closing arguments. It's insulting to your intelligence to say that she was dancing. Kuyper said that since the witnesses had not seen genitals or penetration and neither was visible in the mm. video, either, uh, either saying that the two had sex was speculation. You S folks cannot speculate, Kerpiers told the jury, and in order to say that they had intercourse, you would have to speculate. Yeah, it says here such witnesses would likely have needed a telephoto lens to determine if bathing suits had been bunched to the side enough so that actual penetration could occur, and the defense claimed Alvarez was just doing a dance but apparently that didn't trouble the consciences of the jury, again, only deliberating for 15 minutes. Franks, who's the professor at the University of Miami School Guilty of Law. Guilty until proven innocent. Welcome to the United States of statism. Franks says, quote, state. it's difficult to see what purpose is served by sending people to jail for adult consensual sexual conduct. A fine plus some sort of court-ordered therapy and or community service but ought to su suffice. Ian, he also dealt drugs. He's a terrible person. Franks found the idea of the couple registering as sex offenders even more disturbing, explaining the measure should be, quote, restricted to people who have engaged in actual sexual abuse. But that's just it. The argument here isn't that she was abused or that he was abused. It's the children. There was a three-year-old who saw some people grinding on yeah. each other. And that that is what needs to be protected, the virgin eyes of the children out there, because they will never, ever see anything about right. sex during Don't their childhood. Don't go to a department store. Your kids might see billboards of semi-naked everywhere. Don't ever let your kids on the internet, because they might right. see all kinds of naked. Oh, don't turn on a TV or go near any movie theaters. Yeah, you, that's a great point. This is less... Uh, lascivious than what you would likely see on an episode of NYPD Blue or whatever right. the you know shows are that are on today that might have sexual scenes in them. Yep.
you know, you'd see more than this in like a fashion commercial, just walking by a TV in a department store window. Yeah, I'm not sure that I consider this to be appropriate behavior um, out on, on the beach, but I don't think I think the punishment is completely beyond the pale. Right. And in a but time, shouldn't they send a message? Mark? But it doesn't matter because they got what they got, and a jury of twelve said that that's the sense that they should get. So who are you to say any differently? Uh, well, it's the person, law. I'm a person who says the, ju- an the jury like didn't say anything about the sentence, and that's the problem. Is is that legislators passed what the sentence was a long time ago, and it had nothing to do with what these people. Did. Were you quoting an excerpt from what someone yes. said to you today? Maybe we should talk more about it. Uh, 855-450 free, because I doubt anyone's going to call in to counter-argument us on this one. It's Free Talk Live. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non thinking the dead swarm his home now he must apply his porcupine freedom scouts training to improvise his escape look for survivor max on facebook read reviews on amazon or read chapter one at survivormax.com inventory is everything products sitting on shelves is money sitting on shelves managing our inventory is key that's why i use keep stock solutions from granger keep stock solutions help keep just the right amount of inventory on hand keep stock solutions help keep the cost down Keep Stock Solutions keep me a happy camper. What's the key to better inventory management? Keep Stock Solutions from Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Visit Granger.com slash Keepstock for more information. Granger, for the ones who get it done. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, May 7th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.33 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,185 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $232. Antiwar.com reports Yemeni ambassador to the UN, Khalid al-Yemeni, has issued a letter to the UN Security Council urging the international community to quickly invade the country with ground forces to reinstall President Hadi, who resigned in January. Hadi's status as the once and future elected president of Yemen is already the subject of a massive Saudi war against the Yemenis, though after over a month of bombing and a huge civilian death toll, they haven't resolved anything. Yemeni's letter went on to accuse the Shiite Houthis, who control much of the country, of war crimes, including blocking medical aid shipments. In reality, medical aid shipments to Yemen had been halted by a Saudi blockade, with Saudi warplanes destroying the capital city's airport rather than allow a cargo plane to land there. The demand for more war comes amid international efforts led by Russia to secure a humanitarian ceasefire in Yemen, an effort which has so far been blocked by the U.S. and other nations, which have loudly backed the Saudi war. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. 
UPI reports a Florida woman being held hostage with her children used a Pizza Hut ordering app to ask store employees to call 911 on her behalf. The Pizza Hut in Avon Park, Florida received an online order at 3.40 p.m. on Monday from regular customer Cheryl Treadway and the chef Alonia Hawk noticed the comment section for the order of a small hand-tossed classic pizza with pepperoni read, please help, get 911 to me, and 911 hostage help. Manager Candy Hamilton printed the order and contacted police. Hamilton told WFLA-TV, We've never seen that before. I've been here 28 years and never, never seen nothing like that come through. Police said Treadway and her children were being held in their home at Knife Point by the woman's boyfriend, Ethan Earl Nickerson. A Highlands County Sheriff Office negotiator arrived on the scene and Treadway came out of the home with one of the children, but two others remained inside with Nickerson. Nickerson was arrested without further incident and about 20 minutes later. Treadway and her children were not injured. She told police that she and Nickerson had been arguing and he had taken her phone away after threatening her with the knife. She then convinced Nickerson to let her use the phone to order pizza and took the phone back after the order. Nickerson was charged with aggravated assault with a weapon without intent to kill, battery, false imprisonment, and obstructing justice by depriving communication to law enforcement. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, speaking yesterday from Washington after holding peace talks with President Obama and Vice President Biden, Kurdish President Masoud Barzani insisted that not only is Iraq's unity voluntary, but that an independent Kurdish state is coming. Barzani said independent Kurdistan is coming. It's a continued process. It will not stop. It will not step back, adding that there are no immediate plans to secede from Iraq. Iraqi Kurdistan has been seen moving closer to secession in recent months, however, securing more disputed territory around Kirkuk and continuing to dispute oil revenue. President Obama has made clear he opposes Kurdish secession, saying Iraqi unity is U.S. policy, but the military spending bill making its way through Congress seems to recognize both the Kurds and Sunni militias as separate countries for the sake of shipping arms directly to them. The Iraqi government has opposed such arms shipments, believing they will strengthen the Kurds even more than they already are and make secession much easier for them to unify unilaterally declare without fear of war. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Hamburglar urges a Senate subcommittee to rubble, rubble, rubble. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Hamburger advocate and convicted felon Hamburglar denounced a prison system he called rubble, rubble, rubble as he testified before the Senate subcommittee on penal reform. Hamburglar, convicted in 1998 of breaking and entering a McDonald's hamburger franchise in South Beloit, Wisconsin, and currently serving a sentence of three to five years, made this impassioned plea before being interrupted by U.S. Senator Bob. Bob Smith of Rhode Island. Certainly there is room for improvement in our prison system, but I would hardly call the current situation robble. After delivering his message to the subcommittee, Hamburglar was promptly placed in chains and returned to prison to serve out the remainder of his sentence in solitary confinement. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. A couple having sex on the beach. Now, that's what the jury presumed. That's what they were told was going on, but the couple themselves didn't admit to it. And there's no real evidence of it besides some video taken by a grandmother on a what appears to be a cell phone device uh, from a distance. I'm really offended by this. I'm going to film it for a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this Every, is happening. Everybody needs to see just how offensive this is. This is happening in Florida. They were convicted this week by a jury of their so-called peers. And as you pointed out correctly, Mark, the juries never know 
almost never are aware of the potential punishment for the crimes that the people that they're convicting are are facing. And so maybe the jury just thought this was going to be no big deal. And yeah, okay, it looks like they were having sex from the way the video looked. And so they went ahead and found them guilty because most jurors don't know about jury nullification, their right to judge the law uh, based on your feeling about the law. When you engage in jury nullification, you can vote not guilty and you can set somebody free even if they have committed the crime. So even if you were on that jury, if you were on the jury of these two people and the, it was crystal clear that they were having sex, mm-hmm. like, you know, there was no doubt there was penetration going on on that beach, you could still vote not guilty simply because you, you know, feel like, well, there's no actual victim here. What's wrong with people having sex on the beach? Uh, well, you could but- say it's tacky, but... Well, What's wrong with that's it? what yeah I mean that's something that a juror could say um, that's absolutely true but uh, and really what the problem here is is in the sentencing of this situation because a juror can say this was inappropriate behavior this should not have occurred and these people need to you know 15 hours of community service or something like that but they don't know that they're getting 15 years of incarceration yeah prison I mean the yeah. it's the sentence here that is more the miscarriage of justice than well, anything else I I agree with you the sentence is bad there's no doubt but the jury's made that possible the jury members are the ones who enabled that and so they hold the blame uh, even though they did not know what the potential harm could be no, and if I think, you inform a jury, then they'll um, they'll get in, you'll get in trouble for that sometimes. No, this really comes down to the prosecutors who were trying to play a game of uh, chicken that they don't have any consequences. See, when you play chicken, two let's let's use the cars example. Two cars go at each other until one of them breaks weak and turns off to the side. Mm-hmm. But the prosecutors don't have that because they have no consequences. They're not going to get in a wreck. They're not going to die. Right. Not you get anything. in the wreck. Your life gets wrecked, when and you tell the they prosecu- get a bonus. When you tell the prosecutor, I am not interested in this big, long sentence that you're offering me, whatever it might be. I don't know what these people were offered. Hopefully, they weren't offered any jail time. Mm-hmm. But they decided they didn't want to plead guilty because they weren't having sex, is their claim. Um, then... You know, the prosecutor's like, oh, fine, we'll just take it to court. Uh, you know, uh, I, yeah. this is a huge high-profile case, and I'll get all kinds of credit for it. Um, you know, there's lots of old people in Bradenton that just think I'm a fabulous person right. for taking this qu- uh, case to court. And the facts don't matter. I mean, if they weren't having sex, it didn't matter. The jury found them guilty anyway. Mm. And, you know, that likely comes back around to the fact that this is a place where many people are very Puritan in their beliefs. And that, uh, you know, whether the whether they were having sex or not was immaterial to the jury. It appeared as though they were having sex. Oh they God. were doing sexy things on the beach. That much is for sure. And worse, there was a three-year-old child who w- watched it all go down. That trucker has what looks like to be a naked woman on the mud flaps of his truck. He should go to jail for 15 years. <laughs> I am so tired of this uh, repressive culture. It's so frustrating to be here, but I'm glad I'm not in Florida anymore. I don't know if the same thing would happen in uh, in other places. Johnson, <laughs> you got into it with somebody online, and we're going to do a little role-playing here because it's it's going to be impossible to find somebody to actually call in and say, yeah, throw the book at those guys. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but you can find those people on Facebook. And well, after we have this debate, maybe people will call in. Maybe and, they will. <laughs> who knows? So, I can tend to incite people. <laughs> so what happened here? Well, let's. Well, why don't you kick it off and then— so I post to a friend's wall here on Facebook this article because he lives in Bradenton. So, uh, where the events <laughs> right. transpired. So I figured I'd post this story to him and I said, hey, 15 years, I'm pretty sure they give rapists down there less jail time. And, you know, he replied, he's like, it'll get cut on appeal, but that's actually a standard rape sentence. And, um, you know, supposedly that somebody asked, like, did they, they had sex after only 15 minutes of deliberation? I think he was joking, but uh, my friend answered, no, they were doing it for like an hour or two. Um, and he said, and that's 15 max, but I don't think my friend was aware that, hey, that guy, because of his former past of dealing cocaine, will get that 15-year mm-hmm. max without any uh, ability of the judge to have any sort of um, discretion. So I, I got in and, you know, I, I posted, I said, you know, hey, Caballero will get the max, and they were convicted based on speculation, which makes it even more messed up because they are going to be assumed guilty and not proven guilty and also no victim no crime so i'm going to play al Settery, who is the person who's responding to you i wasn't going to give his full name but okay why not he's (laughs) posting publicly on facebook right actually this is a friends only post well whatever (laughs) uh anyway al uh so let's just go back and forth between you uh, you and al let's leave out uh, the other people here so al says a three-year-old witnessing gives you a victim 
Hey, Al, you better turn off your TV and never take your child in public because three-year-olds are going to be seeing clothed people rubbing against one another everywhere. Read the article. No actual sex was seen. They speculated it could have been dry humping. It is highly debatable whether a three-year-old seeing completely natural human behavior is somehow damaging. If a three-year-old accidentally walks in on mommy and daddy, should the kid be taken and uh, they be locked up for 15 years and forced to register as sex offenders? Not for nothing, but maybe a little more thought should be put into decisions that forcibly destroy people's lives. Maybe? Let your kid watch. I won't. Uh, He goes on, he says, uh, by the way, I did proctor what my kids watched on TV. By your logic, we should also be able to crap wherever we want because that's a natural activity too. (laughs) Good for you. Now don't tell other people how to raise theirs. Also, don't be stupid. It's called property rights. Seriously, apply that thing about thinking to more than uh, more to your arguments as well. That analogy was really bad. However, if you want to uh, uh, run with that car crash of a stupid analogy, should someone have to <laughs> register as a sex offender and be locked up for 15 years for taking a dump on someone <laughs> else's property, either public or private? Because... An 11-year-old girl pooped in my friend's store dressing room last month. Should she and her family be destroyed? Yeah, that's true. I mean, you want to talk about an inappropriate thing to do. Mark, you said this was an inappropriate act, and so therefore maybe some community service uh, should be involved here. I say that's even that is inappropriate to punish somebody for this uh, with the, the system. If you want to do some sort of punishing, then do it socially. Do it through ostracism, uh, you know, out the people uh, publicly or something like that. But that's a great point. This little girl took a dump on the floor of the dressing room and you know that's a pretty offensive thing to do i would agree yep. that is a pretty offensive thing to do but al doesn't agree I, I <laughs> tell you, prison is not the solution lots of hikers have this dilemma um as right? far as pooping in the woods or what yeah they have to but what's the dilemma i mean you got to do what you got to do right? you got to do what you got to do but it's a little strange the, if you're not used to doing it's it. the dilemma that they would be seen pooping well yeah i mean yeah, there are other people on the trails right. oftentimes yeah. uh you got to go f- kind of find a spot and if you find a spot where somebody's wandering by well you know there it is there you are with monkey tail that's a good point uh so let's see your logic is tragically flawed says al These weren't 11-year-olds. Property rights have limits. For instance, you couldn't garden in the nude. You'd be arrested. Lastly, if my info's correct, they were on a public beach. So the concept of property rights would not apply, and you couldn't build a house on a public beach, could you? And I reply, you are aware the government has rights to public property, yes? Or did you believe that public property is owned by magic? And you absolutely can garden in the nude if you have a fence or live in an area not populated by prudish people that regulate their beliefs onto others. Also, if you are suggesting that people uh, have sex on pri- uh, privately owned property, that it's a okay. So if someone wants to bang in a Walmart, is that a okay? No 15 year sentence for you, but banging on a public beach, then throw the book at them? That makes sense, or uh, maybe not. Number one, there was no fence to obstruct the view. Number two, your thought process is horribly convoluted. Why would you think Walmart would be okay? Private property is the purview of the owner. They would call the police just as I would if you were on my property. And number three, public property rules are governed by the law. You're familiar with that, I trust, which is why they're going to jail, which is set and point. (laughs) Stand by for more. 855-450-free. 855-450-3733. So he believes he's won uh, the match here. <laughs> I think it's game, set, match, isn't it? Normally how Something. It yeah. Uh, more coming up here in moments. It's Free Talk Live. Are you completely free of stress and fatigue? Well, of course not. You aren't alone, though. Now think about how nice it would be to begin relieving some of that stress and fatigue. Let me introduce you to a product that has and is working for me. It's called Youthful Greens. Youthful Greens. It's packed full of nature's nourishing, cleansing, and alkalizing greens, providing a powerful dose of whole food nutrition in each serving. Youthful Greens helps increase overall energy levels and reduce all that fatigue and stress on your body. And right now, when you visit freegreens.net or call 800-333-6923 and order your one-month supply of Youthful Greens for only $29.95, you get another month's supply for free. That's two months of Youthful Greens for the already low price of just $29.95. 
plus free shipping. That's saving you $45. Visit freegreens.net today or simply call 800-333-6923. And hey, you're welcome. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. There are two types of advertising. Poll advertising, like Google AdWords, where a consumer goes looking for widgets near them and you try to pull them in with your ad away from the other widget purveyors. Then there's push advertising, where you push your message out about your great widgets and attempt to convince people who weren't thinking about widgets at all that what they need in their life right now is your widget. Radio is push advertising. In the course of a week, there are probably over a quarter million good folks listening to Free Talk Live, and they could hear your message. We're having a sale right now, and it ends May 15th. 200 30-second ads for $1,997. That's like 10 bucks an ad. Find another show with that kind of rate with 150 plus stations. Email me, markedge at marketfreetalklive.com, and I'll set you up. You don't need to have an ad. We'll produce it for you. Buy 200 30-second ads by May 15th and get them for less than $10 a piece. It's a big savings, and you don't want to miss it. Email me, mark, at freetalklive.com now. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road underground market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Hey, it's Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free and share your thoughts with us at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll continue the discussion, the uh, online discussion between Johnson and a guy named Al. And he'll be bringing in his brother here to uh, back him up in this argument about the... Uh, the man and the woman who are now facing up to 15 years in prison for having sex on a Florida beach. We'll continue with that discussion here in moments. Our toll-free number first, though, is 855-450-FREE. And ProXPN is a great way to protect yourself online. Your internet service provider is probably saving all of the websites that you visit, a list of them, a log that goes back in some cases for years. Uh, they could also be selling that information perhaps or certainly giving it away to government agents that are coming looking for it. Also, ProXPN can protect you from criminals trying to sniff out your Wi-Fi packets. And the way they do this is by encrypting your data connection. They're a global virtual private network and their apps available for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, as well as Linux. Just go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Download the app, get started, and then uh, you can start for free, but you're going to want to upgrade because the free account's limited in bandwidth. The unlimited bandwidth comes with the premium account, as well as servers around the world you can access, you can privately torrent, and get past regionally blocked websites. You do that, you get that premium deal 
by using our code FTL50, FTL like Free Talk Live, 50 as in 50% off the price of the annual account. At proxpn.com slash FTL, code FTL50, you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. And ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. So again, go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, and don't forget to use promo code FTL50, and you'll get that annual account at 50% off as we go. First, before we go back to the argument on Facebook, right. uh, let's go to Corey. Corey is on the line via Skype. Hello, Corey. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hey, good. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yeah, I uh, had a friend, a Facebook friend, who uh, I chatted many times with, um, uh, she uh, uh, has, was put in jail last night by uh, the police in uh, Kentucky um, because CPS was falsely called on them. They are homesteaders. Um, they live out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, they have 10 kids. And wow. So, yeah. And it sounds like a nursery school, not homesteaders. No, they've had 10, they've had 10 kids. <laughs> and they live out in the middle of you know, in the middle of Kentucky, and they live a very simple life, and they are, uh, and somebody online, they got in a disagreement with called CPS falsely on them. Um, so this is and, why you shouldn't get into Facebook arguments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just if you have kids, apparently. Apparently, and so they called CPS on them, and now they're going to have to fight um, the state to overcome uh, to be able to uh, keep all ten of their kids. What happened? I mean, I'm looking have they, here. On have the, they got the kids now? Um, two are in police custody right now, and they have no idea where, what their whereabouts are. Mm. And Nicole was thrown in jail because she was verbally resisting arrest. I can tell you that uh, they'd start taking my kid away. They're going to see a lot more than ver verbal resistance. Yeah. And it's it's uh, that so they are very they're very simple people. Um, if you look on this on their website, um, uh, saveourfamily.info, um, there's actually some raw audio of the whole entire incident between oh, them and the police. Yeah, I was gonna so, I was gonna ask if anybody recorded this. So it sounds like some of it was recorded. Yeah, you could. Pot, I think I'll, I think you might want to go through it. Maybe maybe for tomorrow's show or something. Um, I haven't listened to it all yet, but it's uh, very. Uh, I, it's pretty damning to me um, to where it, to where I think yeah it's just something that I I know Nicole she's been very vocal and she's a pretty strong member of the libertarian community and they're very uh, they're, they're one of the greatest families I've ever met. It, it says so. she's released. Yeah, she just got released. Yep. Yeah, it says here she was slammed into the hood of a cop car and taken into custody for so-called disorderly conduct for pleading with the sheriff not to take her boys and resisting arrest. Uh, Joe arrived with the sheriff with his hand on his sidearm, ordered Joe back into the car, and informed him that he was going to make this as difficult as possible for them and that their car would be impounded. The sheriff ordered Joe to return or turn the remaining eight children over by 10 a.m. and threatened him with felony charges if he does not comply. And this all happened because of an unfounded anonymous complaint filed with CPS. So is the allegation that the home in which they're living is not suitable for raising kids? Potentially. I don't see any reason why. They're, they're just, they're very humble and they live in the middle of Kentucky. I guess maybe they, they claim they're not being educated properly or something like that, but they're homeschooling. So I don't, I don't see any reason why... This would You're be... not learning the common core. Yeah. <laughs> I find this very interesting. I mean, is the suggestion that something was criminal was done to our ancestors? I mean, it's been relatively recently that uh, in, in the course of U.S. history and human history where kids have been sort of piled into schools and taught a, a common set of uh, academics and these sorts of things, kids were often just farmhands for a long time they learned their they learned their books uh, at, at night um, when they you know buy candlelight or whatever it was uh, I mean is is that what it was we, we were treated criminally a couple of hundred years ago to as far back in human history as it goes yeah I don't get it at all I, I, I it makes no sense to me these people just want to be left alone and they and the state just has to come in and ruin everything for them yeah 
I mean, these kids should be able to leave uh, once they, you know, once they're able to support themselves and move on. They should be able to leave and educate themselves in any way they wish. Uh, I, you know, I'm not for them being trapped there, but I don't know that you necessarily have a responsibility as a parent to teach exactly what the government thinks you ought to teach. If that's the case, then why do we even let people pick what schools their kids go to at all? Why? Uh, no, what, when somebody looks at this case and they ask the question. Where were they living? Is it on what would be considered like state property? Do you know? Uh, I, I I think they own their own property um, in the middle of nowhere. I thought they were homesteaders. Okay, so this is the term yeah. homestead. Homesteader just means a person who is essentially a taking a l- piece of land and oh. turning it into a home or farm. I am a homesteader, ah, right? Ah, okay. Uh, you know, like I took a re- relatively raw piece of land. Put a house on it, and now I have a very large garden. When I and think a homesteading, grove. I think you go to some unclaimed property and then you make it yours by homesteading. It. I okay. get that. Got it. Um, you know, I burn so my own wood land. for heat and for hot water, and I've raised my own pigs. I am a homesteader. So like a back to nature, self sufficiency uh, yeah. kind of yeah. thing. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing that tonight. It's uh, saveourfamily.info. I wish them the Once best. Once you find out about the kids, too, uh, call back, please. Yeah, thanks, Corey. I appreciate uh, hearing from you tonight. And good call on Skype there. It sounded great. Uh, saveourfamily.info. I wish them the best of luck. You know what? They might want to come up to the Porcupine Freedom Festival if they get everything you know in line by then, if they can afford it. How can it. you afford to transport that many people? Well, I don't they know, need a school bus. school bus or something like that. They have those things. They People do. have those. Um, but anyway, Pork Fest, we just found out. They're busy, that, too. What's going to happen to the farm while they're gone for a week and point. a half? That Lenore Skenazi is going to be one of the speakers at Pork Fest, which I'm really excited about because we've read her blogs a number of times here on Free Talk Live. She's the lady most commonly known as the world's worst mother or something like that, mm-hmm. uh, or America's worst mom because she let her kids walk home from school or her child or son walk home from school, I think at like age 8 or 9 or 10 or something like that, and caused all manner of controversy. She's going to be speaking early on in Porkfest. You're going to have to get there early to meet Lenore Skenazi. Go to Porkfest.com to get your tickets, and we'll be seeing you there. More Free Talk Live coming up. You've heard them on Alex Jones. You've seen them on Ancient Aliens. Now come see them live at Contact in the Desert 2015 in Joshua Tree this May. Experience four full days of science-centered lectures, workshops, intensives, and field work on ancient astronauts, extraterrestrial intelligence, human origins, crop circles, contact experiences, UFO sightings, and more. Meet Chariots of the Gods author Eric Von Daniken, Ancient Aliens host Giorgio A. Sokolos, New York Times bestselling author David Wilcock, Dead Dog. Doctors Don't Lie author Dr. Joel Wallach, astronauts Edgar Mitchell and Story Musgrave, Earth Files publisher Linda Moulton Howe, author Jim Mars, and many of the world's most respected researchers and scientists exploring answers to one of the greatest questions of all time. More speakers, more panels, more things to do. Join us at the Joshua Tree Retreat Center, which has a long history of sightings and contact experiences. For advanced tickets and conference schedule, go to contactinthedesert.com. That is contactinthedesert.com. Free Talk Live. When there are cameras around, it doesn't make a difference. There were people with video cameras all over this event yesterday. That's and good. it looked like um, uh, these people were trying to get away. Yes, honestly. they were. Yes, they were. They or were being these shot people... rushing towards the uh, cop phalanx. Nope. That's right. They were trying to get away. And those batons weren't rubber like the bullets were. They were either trying to get away or they were p- members of the news media trying to cover the event. Right. Police are supposed to be there to protect and serve. To be peace- Allegedly. Allegedly to be peace officers. And instead, they're creating war. And, of course, the uh, chief of police is claiming he'll investigate. What they're going to investigate, I don't know. It's going to be very difficult to identify the officers in this video footage because there were so many of them. Mm -hmm. There was an army of police officers out there, and every single one of them was participating in the attack on unarmed, innocent people. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. LRN.FM needs your help getting our satellite signal back on in Africa. Our satellite provider had us on at no charge from 2012 through February of this year when they pulled the channel off the air. Now we're trying to raise $22,000 to continue reaching people with the message of liberty in places where it's needed most. Please visit our Indiegogo fundraiser at Africa.LRN.FM. Give what you can and share the link with your friends. Africa.LRN.FM. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot reach signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make. Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Oh, hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from Because you're scared of the property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We will continue here with the debate, the great debate between Johnson, our co-host <laughs> here tonight, and some people on Facebook. Uh, because nobody <laughs> in their right mind would call Free Talk Live, and it's okay if you're not in your right mind. We still would like you to call. But uh, nobody in their right mind would call and take the position that someone should go to prison for 15 years for having sex on a beach. And we'll continue that discussion here in moments. But if you do want to call on that, 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. If you've been thinking about uh, doing some advertising to promote your business or organization or you know whatever it is that can reach, say, a national audience, now's the time. Because Free Talk Live is having a sale. At, uh, uh, never had a sale like this before. It ends May the 15th, coming up here very shortly, end of next week. Hmm. It's 30 excuse me, uh, 200 30-second ads for $1,997. And that's like 10 bucks an ad. So this is a station that's on, excuse me, a show that's on 150 stations across the country. When you're talking $10 an ad, that's comparative to buying an ad on one station and getting the other 150-something stations for free. Just get a hold of me, Mark, by at marketfreetalklive.com. Again, it's 200 30-second ads for $1,997. Mark at freetalklive.com. All right, so we're going to jump right back into this conversation just to bring you up to speed. A couple has been found guilty by a jury after no real proof, just some you know cell phone video of a couple of people grinding on a beach towel or something like that on Bradenton Beach, Florida. They're now facing 15 years in prison after a jury spent 15 whole minutes deliberating this case before returning guilty verdicts for both the man and the woman. The man has a previous criminal conviction for cocaine uh, dealing, apparently, and so he's expected to get all 15 years. Uh, the woman may get less time. She doesn't have the same record. She's uh, about 20 years old. So, uh, Johnson, I'm going to jump back in here. We've got Al you, and his brother Chip is going to come in here in a moment. Do you want me to back up a comment? Because I think it just, we're rolling through a point here, and I think it might be good to reiterate. Yeah, this go one. ahead. So I said, also, are you suggesting that if people have sex on privately owned property that it's okay? So banging in a Walmart is a-okay? No 15-year sentence for you, but banging on a public beach? Well, then just throw the book at them. Well, that makes sense, or uh, maybe not. He says that public property rules are governed by the law. You're familiar with that, I trust, which is why they're going to jail, which is set and point. <laughs> As an addendum, whether you agree with a sentence or not, a jury of 12 did. Perhaps you believe polygamy is okay, but that would also put you in jail. The law is the law <laughs> until it is changed. 
And I reply, I'm like, well, you know. Well, but you know, but before you go on, yeah. you know you're dealing with a real, you know, brilliant person when yeah. they <laughs> utter the term, the law is the law. Well, they can stop thinking at that point. Yeah. Some right. some lying, thieving politicians have written crap down on a piece of paper, and therefore I am now allowed to stop thinking. I win, you lose, ha, ha, ha. I mean, it's 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 complete ignorance of human history right. where, the, where the state has been on the wrong side of morality as many times as not, it seems. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's... It's it's so frustratingly ignorant that I, you know we have to deal deal with it on such a regular basis. So I wrote. I said Walmart is private property. If they allowed sex there, it would be okay. This was not a rocket science type question. I think maybe you were just confused. Private property is clearly not the purview of the owner if you can't garden naked, now is it? Mm -hmm. Perhaps unlike you, I do not judge what is moral based on the whims of bureaucrats and politicians that make laws. Yep, that's that's the big difference between the two of you. I, I too, would call the police if you were on my property. I, you wouldn't even need to be gardening naked. I'd let them know that a challenged slow person was rambling and repeating <laughs> things and being belligerent. <laughs> Public property rules are be, are governed by the law. You're familiar with that, I trust, which is why they are going to jail, which is set in point. I quoted him there. And I said, right after I had just said, you are aware that the government has rights to public property, yes? Or did you believe that public property is owned by magic? It's kind of funny to have all this conversation just for you to understand that the law isn't always just. Oh, well, I guess maybe you'll... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can say this on the radio. Um, I guess maybe you'll just go... Uh, get aroused saluting a flag somewhere now instead of using that brain meat. Uh, much easier to let voters and bureaucrats decide everything for you, regardless of uh, how hard you... Uh, you can say filet on <laughs> the radio. Filet, the red, white, and blue. 15 years for this isn't right. I don't care how sensitive your stupid kid is. Maybe they should grow up with a <laughs> sense of reality. God. Let's... Let's be perfectly clear. I'm not saying no punishment. I'm not some kind of heathen against all rules of conduct. I'm just saying that the punishment doesn't fit the crime, even remotely. It's not the end of existence for a three-year-old to witness somebody humping. Turn on a it's TV. It's meaningless for a three-year-old to witness right. somebody humping. That's I'm, like, yeah. why are they making those motions, Mom? I mean, what does it mean to a three-year-old? It's completely out of context for them. They don't know... You know, is she giving him a massage? I don't know what. A, I mean, what would a three-year-old know about this? Yeah, well, well, I, I think it's interesting that you uh, say that it's meaningless, and then you ask the question, "What do they know about it?" You don't want to know what they know about it. You believe you have an answer. Yeah, I can tell you, I didn't know a damn thing about it. it I wouldn't. Uh, I was very encapsulated in my own world. Um, I wasn't really looking around. I mean, the the fact that a three-year-old is around digging in the dirt. Uh, what right. I've noticed is kids see. It, it was hard. My son didn't see things that were far away very much. You could point to the moon. Mm. That's really kind of it. Like, it's there it is. It's out on its own. I think my mom had the birds and the bees conversation with me when I was five. If, uh, well, still, just having the conversation doesn't even really mean that it no, would translate sure. to knowledge about what that is, right? right? Like, some there's two people on a blanket over there. And if grandma, and I don't know if grandma that recorded this scene. I'm pretty sure I saw porn by eight. I, if grandma was uh, was the grandmother of the three year old, that's not made clear in the story. It just right. says a three year old was watching and sure. a grandma recorded. But let's just presume that grandma was the grandma of the three year old. If grandma wasn't standing there for fifteen <laughs> minutes or however long it was, right. pointing her cell phone at whatever it was that was right. going on, maybe the three year old would not have even noticed what was yeah. happening. Yeah, probably. So I told him, turn on a TV. Your kid is probably going to see worse walking around a department store. And then I posted a link to a comedy routine where uh, Louis C.K. talks about flipping off kids. <laughs> so after you posted that, what it was essentially an essay length post, I mean, it was multiple <laughs> paragraphs, the one you just read. He comes back with the reality, in all caps, is that they got what they got, regardless That's of what true. They you got what they got. Think. And frankly, I don't care. Notice you are the one rambling. <laughs> And I'm like, I, I posted an LOL. I'm like, I just clicked on your profile to see if I was right about you being a cliche. And your profile header background is airplanes making a flag with smoke. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So then he brings in his brother, Chip. And I think it's his brother, yeah. Same last name. Chip says, 
the guy did time for drug trafficking. I would assume his record plays a factor in how he's sentenced. I bet it does. One might think... But that doesn't really have anything to do with it. One might think thought is the responsibility of the people who choose to screw in public as opposed to whining about how their willful violation of the law forcibly harms them. The comparison of what someone does in the privacy of their own home versus what someone does, someone is forcibly subjecting others to witness in public is about the dumbest argument I have ever heard. For someone concerned with people forcing their beliefs on others, that is exactly what the people screwing on the beach were doing. And I replied... Yes, so should Al be sentenced to 15 years for being the type who likes forcing his belief on uh, beliefs on other people? I thought not, because that just doesn't make any damn sense any more than selling product that people want or dry humping in public does. It's obnoxious, but different people will have very different views of what is obnoxious. Under no just system does it make sense to lock someone up for speculation. The United States justice system is based on the principle of innocent until proven guilty, or it used to be. So essentially his argument here is that by doing something in public, you're forcing people to watch. Right. So whatever it is, you're, uh, you know, you're, ba- you're breastfeeding in public, you're forcing people to observe right. you breastfeeding. You couldn't possibly look in any of the other, th- you know, 359 degrees uh, right. directions away from the woman breastfeeding or the couple that's having, right. uh, you know, an intimate moment on the beach. Right. Going on here, uh, this is well, Al now. Uh, at this point, the couple isn't necessarily, like, they... The video doesn't actually show sex. It's that's just correct. people with clothes on uh, sort of moving against each other. And frankly, that's what all dancing is anymore. That's true. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number here. We'll continue more of this brilliance in moments. <laughs> and you can share your thoughts as well. 855-450-FREE. Join us here on Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. Help! I'm tied up in my hotel rewards program. I'll never get enough points to make it worth my while. Never fear. Instant Man is here. Instant Man? I'm the America's best value in Instant Man, here to save you with instant rewards. What do you mean? Join our free value club and get 15% off room upgrades and late checkout when available instantly. No waiting? No points? Just register at abvi.com. Oh, Instant Man, you and America's best value in saved me. Instantly. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45 non-tobacco user could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of five 
$500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers, too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts... Click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t-shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. We're back with more Free Talk Live. Time enough for you if you dial in now at 855-450-FREE. And if you want to help support Free Talk Live, please visit our African Satellite Fundraiser. We literally have 10 days left uh, in this African Fundraiser, and it'll help us get back on satellite over a good swath of most of Africa. And we've been there before. We were actually there for a couple of years free, uh, but now the satellite provider would like to get paid for that service. And I don't what blame a surprise. Them. Yeah, I don't blame them for it. So uh, hoping to raise the uh, $22,000 that it takes. There's some great perks involved where you can actually come hang out in uh, the studio of your favorite LRN.FM show. There are a bunch of shows that have volunteered their studios for that perk, and there are several other perks there available as well. Over at Africa.LRN.FM, go check out the four-minute-long pitch, and then uh, send, all, uh, send along the link to your uh, various social networking websites and uh, please maybe a last minute push will bring out some extra contributions had a few roll in over the last uh, couple days which was nice and one guy i think gave like 200 bucks so thank you uh, for everybody who's contributed over at africa.lrn.fm as we jump back into the intelligent discussion <laughs> happening on facebook between you johnson and al and chip the uh, brothers who uh, are taking the law is the law approach <laughs> on this issue of the people who are now facing 15 years in prison for having sex on a Florida beach. And I think we left off on, was it you? Uh, Al. It was, it was Al, okay. And you continue to ramble when stupid people do stupid things. They pay a price. In this case, determined by the court. End of conversation. And so he continues. I might point out <laughs> that in no way have I been uncivil to you or made fun of your opinion while uh, while seem to feel that you have the privilege to do so. Now, he's right, uh, at the very least, in that yeah. you have been insulting. You're a nasty yeah, little argue is what you are. The Russians have a term for you, nikolterny, uncultured. Chip, his brother, weighs in saying, <laughs> here's the thing, dude. Number one. They had a day in court with a jury and were found guilty based on the evidence presented. The, the, this is true. <laughs> and I have come to the, like there was a time when I really believed that a day in court was something of value. But the fact is, is when you get 12 sycophants that are lockstep mm -hmm. on crap, I, it just doesn't mean anything to me anymore. I think our criminal justice system is so broken that I just don't care anymore. Yeah. Yes, you got 12 stupid people to agree <laughs> and they're not even 12 I, stupid people who wanted to go home and get out of there. Right, that's what it's they're all about. Is these people aren't incentivized. And frankly, they have no business. What does the average individual have a have business interpreting the law for? I don't want 12 people in deciding how my brain surgery goes. They do goes. terrible. They do terrible work. I mean, I've seen a number of jury trials, and we got another one coming up here shortly. Uh, James Cleveland is going to be going to a jury trial. And it's a last-ditch effort for them. You know? I, yeah. I don't think anybody really expects miracles out of these people, and they're really disappointing in a lot of uh, situations. Number two, he says... Given that the jury found sufficient evidence to support the fact that they weren't simply dry humping for two hours, 
So, um, by the way, I don't know what that evidence was, given that yeah. none was presented yeah. uh, at the trial. And he puts in parentheses, and I mean, come on, man. You generally think a 40-year-old man is dry humping a 20-year-old woman and not actually screwing? They were in violation of multiple law. I don't know. Each, it's not my job. Yeah, to I also didn't answer that. And it's like, well, gee, I only think it happens, you know, thousands and thousands of times a day in strip clubs everywhere. But anyway. Each of which becomes worse if a minor is present, he says. Number three. While you may feel the length of the sentence is an issue, if they were sentenced within the legal sentencing guidelines, the issue is with the guidelines and not the sentence itself. Fine. So, <laughs> which he misspells. Fine. The the the, the arguments with the sen- the the guidelines. What difference does it make? They were talking about sending somebody to prison for fifteen years. In Florida, that's 85% of that time at the minimum. So you're talking about 12 years of taxpayer funding for somebody's idea that, you know, these these two people were having sex on the beach. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying the sentence is beyond the pale and that anybody who would give right. this sentence out it, it, is a it's, monster. Yeah, it's, a, it's monstrous. Also, odds are she'll be out well before the end of the sentence, and his previous legal issues will there impact the sentence. There we go. Here's a moron talking. She, he doesn't have any idea what the end of the sentence is. This guy lives in Florida, lives in Bradenton, doesn't know that there's an 85% Actually, rule. Actually, he lives in Virginia Beach, Virginia. F- okay, fine. Then um, I, I thought that this guy was the uh, the guy in Bradenton. Excuse no. me. Uh, but this is, you know, this is, here you go, having a, an opinion yeah. about crap you know nothing about. <laughs> That's what Facebook's all about, though, right? Yeah. Uh, going this on is here. the problem with democracy. The world's told, hey, you're a special snowflake, <laughs> and you you ought to have an opinion on everything. No, you're not. You're a moron, and you shouldn't have an opinion on anything you're not an expert on. You spend your lifetime working on something? Yes, you should have an opinion on that. Bottom line is a jury found them guilty, and they're getting a stiff sentence. Let's go to Armed Truth, calling from out of nowhere. You're on Free Talk Live via Skype. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey, you're on the air. Uh, I wanted to divert a little bit. I just wanted to talk about police body cameras because there's a case going on here in San Diego. Yeah, what's about, up? Uh, a local police officer who about a couple weeks ago shot a guy in front of an adult bookstore. And uh, all cops in San Diego and the city of San Diego now are required to have body cameras. Hmm. And uh, for some reason in this instance, of course, when he kills someone, he didn't turn his on. And they're having a big issue now because they spent a ton of money to give all the officers, yeah. you know, six hundred. Right. The Oops, dopiest sounds- thing ever. How much pre- forethought does it think to like say, "Hey, maybe we shouldn't give the police officers the ability to turn the cameras off." Oh, duh, 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 duh. Well, yeah, that's what I, <laughs> I think that they have to be able to turn the cameras off to like go tinkle and stuff like that. Take the camera off. Fine. Um, okay, so the answer then to this is... they'll just do that. They'll leave the camera right. in the car. The Whoops. answer is to this yeah. is relatively easy. The fact is is that um, police love their jobs. They hate the idea of uh, some kind of demotion or something like that. Mm. This police officer should be summarily fired. Police officers of mm. America, if you shoot somebody, and I don't care, I don't care if they had a shotgun in your <laughs> wife's face and you don't have your, you're on duty and you don't have your camera on, you get fired. End of hey, story. this guy was at a porn store. He deserves to be shot to death. Actually, and let me ask a question. Is there any other reason besides going to the bathroom you can think of that a police officer should be able to can't turn off their camera? Yeah, I think you should be able to take your, your break. I mean, police officers are going to get 15-minute breaks uh, every four hours or whatever the rule is, and you should be able to cuss and eat uh, Fritos without somebody seeing what the heck's going on in that amount of time. I don't think I think a police officer that cusses while on duty should also be fired. Okay. Wow. On their break, No, absolutely. You're, you're either a professional or you're not. And I, I am a firefighter. You can believe I wouldn't go into somebody's house and call them a, ra- a you know, a raging list of expletives. Mm-hmm. Some police officer that's supposed to serve and protect the community should not be cussing while on duty. It's fine with me if you want to cuss with the uh, the other police officers, um, yicking, yakking, and back and forth, and maybe with the firefighters. I get, I get it. You know, I mean, I I've done it too, but. No, you you do not cuss at the people you're serving. The reason why I asked what I asked, Mark, is because it seems to me like both of those could be technologically solved. Like where you walk through the bathroom door, the camera turns off. You walk back Which out, bathroom? it turns back the police on. Police officers use bathrooms all the time. You're not going back to the station. Oh, I guess you. Okay, fair point. Um, okay, so that becomes a problem. No, this is the answer is. But I was going to say, other than that, what I could, what you could do is you could tie it to the clock. If there's a use the of clock, force, if there's a use of force and your camera isn't on, you lose your job. Yeah, that's also. Mm. If there's a minor use of force and no injuries, you sit on desk duty for the next six months. Arm truth. 
Yeah, I kind of agree. I think they should be fired. And the thing is, he had four. They have to turn it. They can double tap the camera and it turns on. He mm-hmm. had four minutes from when he got the call to when he got to, any, to when he arrived. Sorry, I'm stuttering. <laughs> uh, and he, when he arrived, and he didn't turn the camera on. And there's actually been two other questionable killings in the city. In both times, somehow their cameras didn't get turned on. So the problem is either they're on all, all the time or. You know, they have this option where they can choose. Yeah. And, yeah, I think and they if, should be fired or I think they should be. And I'm sure know, the situation will be beat. like where it's like six cops by beating a guy down. It's like somehow all of their cameras. <laughs> like, <laughs> how did this EMP. happen? And what an amazing <laughs> coincidence. He set off an EMP in his pocket <laughs> as we were beating him. And that's. The man I'm... obviously gives off radiation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah. Um, truth I'd just like to give my love out to uh, Packet Sniffer and uh, Pro XBN, and thanks, guys. You got it. Thanks, <laughs> Packet dude. Sniffing. All right, uh, Johnson. Uh, do, I don't feel. I, I feel like we should not continue this because it <laughs> would be it just too, devolves into. Yeah, it doesn't get better from uh, from here. Well, I do want to address the one thing uh, that Mark, because Mark is like, you, you, you are being mean. You are mean. You know, you are being mean. Like, yeah, okay, I was being mean, but you know, I, I did say to him. Um, I said, you know, Al, hey, you were uncivil, and I responded in kind the moment you said your logic is tragically flawed because you are just because you are too simple to understand beyond what the state tells you or what some puppets vote upon in no way creates flawed logic. I'm like, juries never make mistakes. Laws are always just. You guys are like drones. Mm. Yeah. I mean, because he was, you know, he was nasty too. He was nasty. He's like, your logic is flawed. You know, he, he started attacking right off the bat. So I'm like, okay, fine. You want to start? And that's typically the way it goes in these debates. It's like someone attacks me. I'm going to attack back because I it's going to be more fun for me. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the problem. You like this. And you are good at it. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you that. So we I, didn't have time uh, because of the d- great Facebook debate here to get into the story about the professor uh, saying reading to kids is disadvantaging to other kids. And it sounds yeah. like an interesting story. I don't know if you want to hold on to it till, uh, till you're here next week. But, yeah, uh, I'll pass it on. Okay, right, pass it on then. I pass on my prep all the time to either you guys or to other co-hosts. And we almost always never get to it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it's true. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> uh, we're, we'll be back tomorrow night. You can join us online between now and then over at freetalklive.com. See you tomorrow. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in Creative Commons. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. The live edition of Flaming Freedom is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, lrn.fm. 
From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, May 7th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.33 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,185 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $232. Antiwar.com reports Yemeni ambassador to the UN, Khalid al-Yemeni, has issued a letter to the UN Security Council urging the international community to quickly invade the country with ground forces to reinstall President Hadi, who resigned in January. Hadi's status as the once and future elected president of Yemen is already the subject of a massive Saudi war against the Yemenis, though after over a month of bombing and a huge civilian death toll, they haven't resolved anything. Yemeni's letter went on to accuse the Shiite Houthis, who control much of the country, of war crimes, including blocking medical aid shipments. In reality, medical aid shipments to Yemen had been halted by a Saudi blockade, with Saudi warplanes destroying the capital city's airport rather than allow a cargo plane to land there. The demand for more war comes amid international efforts led by Russia to secure a humanitarian ceasefire in Yemen, an effort which has so far been blocked by the U.S. and other nations, which have loudly backed the Saudi Saudi war. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports a Florida woman being held hostage with her children used a Pizza Hut ordering app to ask store employees to call 911 on her behalf. The Pizza Hut in Avon Park, Florida received an online order at 3.40 p.m. on Monday from regular customer Cheryl Treadway and the chef Alonia Hawk noticed the comment section for the order of a small hand-tossed classic pizza with pepperoni read, please help, get 911 to me, and 911 hostage help. Manager Candy Hamilton printed the order and contacted police. Hamilton told WFLA-TV, We've never seen that before. I've been here 28 years and never, never seen nothing like that come through. Police said Treadway and her children were being held in their home at knife point by the woman's boyfriend, Ethan Earl Nickerson. A Highlands County Sheriff's Office negotiator arrived on the scene and Treadway came out of the home with one of the children, but two others remained inside with Nickerson. Nickerson was arrested without further incident about 20 minutes later. Treadway and her children were not injured. She told police that she and Nickerson had been arguing and he had taken her phone away after threatening her with the knife. She then convinced Nickerson to let her use the phone to order pizza and took the phone back after the order. Nickerson was charged with aggravated assault with a weapon without intent to kill, battery, false imprisonment, and obstructing justice by depriving communication to law enforcement. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, speaking yesterday from Washington after holding peace talks with President Obama and Vice President Biden, Kurdish President Masoud Barzani insisted that not only is Iraq's unity voluntary, but that an independent Kurdish state is coming. Barzani said independent Kurdistan is coming. It's a continued process. It will not stop. It will not step back, adding that there are no immediate plans to secede from Iraq. Iraqi Kurdistan has been seen moving closer to secession in recent months, however, securing more disputed territory around Kirkuk and continuing to dispute oil revenue. President Obama has made clear he opposes Kurdish secession, saying Iraqi unity is U.S. policy, but the military spending bill making its way through Congress seems to recognize both the Kurds and Sunni militias as separate countries for the sake of shipping arms directly to them. The Iraqi government has opposed such armed shipments, believing they will strengthen the Kurds even more than they already are and make secession much easier for them to unify unilaterally declare without fear of war. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
It's the Onion Radio News. All seven deadly sins were committed at a church bake sale. This is Doyle Redland reporting. Avarice, sloth, envy, lust, gluttony, pride, and wrath. All seven of the fabled deadly sins were committed on Sunday at the twice-annual bake sale at St. Mary's of the Immaculate Conception Church. According to St. Mary's treasurer, Beth Ellen Coyle, church-sponsored events are a notorious breeding ground for these treasonous acts against the Lord God. This is supposed to be about the glorification of God, not violating His Word. Do that and you're no better than that cheap strumpet Melissa Wyckoff with those sinful chocolate cookies of hers. The Seven deadly sins were first outlined in the 5th century by Gregory the Great, who himself was, as indicated by his very name, toying dangerously with the sin of pride. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Flaming Freedom. Welcome back, Gain Archists. We're live. It's Thursday, May 7th, 2015, and a very special episode for you this week. Uh, last week, of course, you know, Dale was gone uh, in a drunken slumber. He just. Dis-